Three, two, one, and welcome back to Chasing the Racing, powered by OMG Bennett and JCT Truck and Trailer Hire. And this episode has been brought to you by none other than Captain Insano's personal sponsor, <laughs> Lee Pinder, who actually has a very grown-up job, and I think he owns his business. But he does real network provide, sorry, real networks provide a complete design and installation service for copper and fiber optical data cabling systems. He's an electrician then. <laughs> He'll be screaming through, yeah. but I'm never sponsoring that podcast straight no. again. I no, I'm joking. He, he's not joking, by the way. But I'll tell you what, before we get introducing our cracking guests for this evening, we have got the delicious, tall and mysterious Joe Ackroyd. And he's shaking his head there if every you don't. Time. Every time. You love it, man. You love a bit of side compliment. You. Terrific. <laughs> How are we doing, son? I'm good. I'm good, mate. You? Thank you so much for coming up. Because where Sorry. the hell have you been at the minute? Well, I was on holiday last week, so yeah. <laughs> like he's a, he's a proper family man. You can tell this. I'm just looking at our guests at the moment, just going, "Oh yes, he's right." <laughs> <You're, you're, laughs> you but... could have brought some sunshine back. Uh, <laughs> some it rained. Back. It rained three day three days. We did, oh, a, we, did we did a week in Portugal. It rained right. for three days. Yeah, dream. Not good, not good. No. But I'll tell you what, this is the perfect opportunity to introduce our fantastic guests for the evening, Mr. and Mrs. TT themselves, <laughs> Fiona and John Holden. How the hell are you? Oh, we're good, thank you. Thank you very much for inviting us along. D- bollocks yeah, to that. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. Bollocks to that, you drove up from Blackburn. Thank you so much for you know taking the time and the journey to get up here. Honestly, he, brilliant. He rang me, he said... Uh, We've got the Holdens, and and they're going to Hull, so they're going to call in on the way. <laughs> no, said, no, we're, uh, we were coming here, and we might as well go to Hull while we're here. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the main event. I said my <clears throat> my geography's not up to much, <clears throat> but this isn't on the way to Hull, so we appreciate you, yeah, you. making the effort for swinging by. Thank you. So what what are you actually going to Hull for? Well, it's all to do with my racing that I retired from last year. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. But, yeah, he's uh, the quickest retired man ever. I think you, you retired for what ten months. Yeah, yeah, but... Um, <laughs> You're going to take the like, pass now, bollocks yeah, to it, yeah. there. <laughs> it was a bit like a divorce, wasn't it? Not doing your racing. Yeah, I, I don't get into the TT now, but it was... it To give up the TT was uh, heartbreaking. Mm. There's, a, there's a, a YouTube video of me, and you can see me crying on the stage at the TT. It was just... Yeah, we, we got a third, and I were, I were filling up and looked all right. Pillock. <laughs> you say that, but then anybody who's been there and done it, yeah. they're never going to say it because everybody that's set off down Braille understands exactly yeah. Yeah. like that. Yeah, and, it's a and drug. It's a drug. For you saying, yeah, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to pack it in. You can't, yeah. can you? It's, no. It's a disease. Well, I first went there in uh, 1988. So that shows how old I am. So. <laughs> <laughs> you like a good bottle of wine. Psycho yeah. racers get better with age. <laughs> And we've had a, <laughs> yeah, we've. Uh, I'm not alcoholic, by the way. <laughs> I like it. We'll yeah. move on to that yeah. in a minute as we'll well. To that. <laughs> but I mean, going there, it's just it's just been that's what you do in May and end of May, beginning of June. So it's just it was. Yeah, but my son, my son, he's going to be doing it, and I thought he was going to be doing it in 24, and that was not really the reason but it helped me sort of think right well I'll I'll stop and then I can help him but then he decided hey, he's not just ready yet he hasn't got everything in place so he's going 25 so that meant that in 24 he wasn't there I wasn't there so it made it real difficult mm. not to do anything yeah you've been so you've been a proper grumpy <clears throat> oh yeah it's been <laughs> Honestly, yeah. it's upsetting me. Yeah. If you want to say it, it is. He's it, just been a grumpy twat. Go on, just say it. <laughs> but well, it ta- I said that F word, but. Mm. <laughs> it takes up so much time yeah. to prepare it for it, doesn't it? Yeah. And then you realise when that's not there, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. What do I do with my time? No. Do you know, going back to 1988, was that your first time riding there? Or yes. Or your first time going in? Uh, no, I'd been going. Uh, I've been going since a kid. Because I like these stories. Yeah, the, you, the, where the seed is planted. Oh That's well, yeah, I went. Mid, steady, mid, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was. Uh, my, I mean, mum, dad and mum were well into it. We, when Jeff Duke was doing, do you know what I mean? Doing him and Hellwood were all heroes. And then Hellwood and Agostina were my heroes. But I used I used to go there as a kid. We stayed in a, a holiday camp called House Drake, which was at the top of Onken. And if, yeah. if, you, if you go up there, you can still see the old swimming pool. And they were like little chalet things. But at the time, everybody were there on their Triumphs and BSAs and that parked outside with all the glittery tanks. And, you know, they used to have like that metal flake. Everything were painted in metal flake. So I were, I were there and 
I mean, mum and dad used to go and have a beer or two and leave me with my grandma and I would just, you know, left with my grandma waiting for them to come back. But then as I got a little bit older, I used to walk from top of Onken down to, uh, well, it's where the grandstand is now, but they used to, it wasn't scrutiny it was called weighing in. <laughs> That's what it used to be called. It used to go for weighing in and they'd go in a tent on a ramp and it was scrutineering, but once it's scrutineered, they to go in a tent and you couldn't touch them at all. Like now we go into Park Fermi, mm -hmm. but they were like locked away and they couldn't touch them until, I don't know, I forget how long it was before they, they could have access back to the machinery again. But Aylwood were there and Agostini and that, and I were just, they were like a, a what, what's that fencing called? That's paling, that. Um, yeah, paling. Paling fencing. And I were just there like gawping at these bikes. Just, and, and none, it grew from then, didn't it? And it grew from there, yeah. Just, and it was just you walking off by yourself, no one going moment, taking you with you? No, and it must be about two miles from Easy. up there. And I, I, I wasn't so old and off I used to go and just... Yeah, did, you, did you sit there thinking, I'm going to do this one day? Or was it <sighs> like most of the kids where they just think, wow? Yeah, just wow. You're just but, in awe of yeah. it all, aren't you? And then when I went, a chance to go in 88, I went with David Burgess as my passenger. You probably know the Burgesses. Are, um, fairly famous, and uh, <clears throat> one of my sayings was, "We're here and we're doing it." <laughs> Both of us, we just couldn't believe that we was uh, at the TT. Dream come true. Dream come true, you know. By then, <clears throat> and I was number ninety nine, and there was one hundred and three sidecars started. Wow! And now they're probably thirty five this year. Oh my god! But where yeah. did you finish in that round? I came fourth in that. Back. So, in, but, sorry, but this, so, 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 sorry, was that your first race and you finished fourth? Yeah, but it was a split class dumb. There okay, was like, thousands and three fifties. For, for the people who were just getting to know you, I feel like I've known I've known you a long time now, and just you see how he immediately downplayed himself. Yeah. Hold on, <laughs> Dom, I did just win a world championship, but <laughs> but you know, everyone wasn't really on their day, on their form at the time, you know, and everyone, you know, he didn't have quite. He's having a fight with his missus. He was he was yeah. thinking about that back at home. It wasn't him, like. You came fourth at your first take. Yeah. Sod your split class shite. You... <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you get third? Yeah, well, I'll tell you why I didn't get third. <laughs> <laughs> it started raining and I backed off a bit. And seriously, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Desi Fans come third and I come fourth. Was that actually hard to accept? You know, like, oh, so were, you aware, were you aware? Did you have pit boards? Did you, you know, your yeah. first time there, were you quite, like, what? Talk no, me through no, this. not really, no, it just, yeah, come in and somebody said, you come fourth, but you're nearly third. <laughs> Get out of it. <laughs> was it. Was it the presenter of Bullseye? Look what you could have won, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, like, yeah, and it, since then, it's just been, been fantastic. Oh, yeah. Do you remember your first lap? Can you remember? Because I, I think you, you, like everyone I remembers the first lap, don't they? Or your first round. I was yeah, sitting yeah, third. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was waiting to go out on the, on the ramp, do you know what I mean? That's how yeah, I used yeah. to go out there. And uh, in front of me was Roy Hanks. And I couldn't wow. believe that I were there with Hanks's and then and then me, number 99, and off we went. And it, yeah, amazing. But I'd done a lot of work. I mean, I've been there since a kid. And I'd... I'd I don't. I don't think I did it as work. I just driven round and just loved it. And every, do you know what I mean? I didn't think right. I'm going to go and learn the TT. I'm going to look. But because I'd been there a lot and and, and seen a lot, I, I knew a, you know quite a bit. But we did. David and I. We did have a weekend over there with a, a video camera, and that was so funny. <laughs> Because in 88, they weren't like what we've got now. Do you know what I mean? A big thing. Yeah, yeah. And he, he sat in front of this fiesta or whatever it were with this, with this camera. And we went over the laugh bridge. <laughs> and all we saw were roof of, the, <laughs> roof of this car and then down. And we just laugh away right through to Corey Benz just about. Do you know what I mean? Just, yeah. Look at like a couple of Russian spies going yeah, around the hell of some of these big cameras. And then when we brought it on <clears throat> and tried to watch it, we were just so funny. <laughs> I bet you felt seasick. No, just, well, I were driving and he were videoing, but it was just honest. It, Mega. Great times. We had morning practice then, and then, you know what I mean? You'd come in and <sighs> there were a T tent, you'd, you'd stop and park outside the T tent. Ladies' heaven. And go in, and there were, there were 
yeah. ladies here. Yeah. That's what it was called. It sounds yeah. brilliant. Let's and you talk get a about sticky it. bun, <laughs> <laughs> like a free brew in a bun. Yeah, after, you get a sticky bun or something, tea. and a cup of yeah. tea, and in this tent, and then everybody was parked up there, chatting about their their lap and everything. Yeah. It was great. So instead of going back to your own tent. You all went back together. And you all yeah. went into there nice. and like talk it over the crack. So, but, you know. so different. I'm not saying it was yeah. any now's any worse, but it was different. Yeah, you know different. I mean? it, you know what? It was I'm more gonna... sociable, I think it yeah. was then. Yeah. It sounds better. I'm going to say that. Yeah, well, like, I'm, I'm, I'm some way. No, I, I agree. I, you know, I, the, know, the problem it, is whenever you make something more, not sound like a, one of them wankers in a suit, but when you make <laughs> something commercial, yeah. it changes the job, it does, it? And it goes from being what it was to having a corporate. Yeah, People want to see the rawness, and that's what the TT delivers. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and for me, like Joe, we've, we're all all four of us in this room have competed. And I tell you what, I feel like we haven't actually fully introduced you. You know, you've both done the TT, you've done World Championship Cycle, you've won TTs. You know, trust me when I'm saying, listeners, these two are not mugs <laughs> like you. And, and there's John putting his head down yet again. Yeah. That you two are too humble for your own good. Yet, but. But all seriousness, it is absolutely fantastic to have you on. Chrissy would be over the moon to have you on. Both and it is just absolutely class. And the fact that you're a teacher as well in the room <laughs> is even better. But we're gonna go down yeah. your story as well, as well as John's. Yeah, but yeah. like let's let's talk I wanna talk a bit more about those early practices. Cause you know what? We'll never I, I remember pushing my dad's bike up at the Manx Grand Prix at yeah, Classics yeah. and pushing him down the road at like for morning, morning practice, and for me that was proper Isle of Man. You know, the sun was coming up. People are still yeah. just brushing, like wiping their asses and brushing their teeth in the morning, and all the hearing is bikes go wham down Bray Hill. I used to love it when you were lying in the tent and you that's it for as, you, a, yeah. as a kid lying in your tent and you hear morning practice going on. It's amazing. And I'm me personally, I'm not a morning person. <laughs> I would never have been able to get out of bed and go and do an early morning practice. Fortunately, when I started early morning practice had stopped but in those early morning practices I think that's when more of the seagull strikes happened as well wasn't it you don't right. hear quite of so Not many seagull Bird strikes, strikes anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they were more in the morning kind of thing but no I'm glad I mean yeah it's good because you get two bites of the cherry you get a morning practice and then an evening practice mm. that's that's the that was a big plus because yeah. usually one end of the day the weather's not so bad but if you're waiting just for an evening practice it can go tips up, can't it? it can, mm. Weather can be weather-wise. Yeah. Weather-wise, no, um, you know, it, two bites of the cherry, like he says. It, it's no secret that sometimes the sidecars are the ones that get their track time <coughs> sacrificed. Yeah. Mm. Not just as much. They do. They do. Gary's work really yeah, hard, yeah. hasn't he, with like yeah. trying to as give as much advance warning as possible yeah. and put alternative plans in place. But it's not just us that it affects. It affects the whole country or the whole mm. island, right? yeah, doesn't yeah. it? But it, it is a country. It is. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Right. So, but, yeah. So but you, you get it. I mean, you, you saw all the lads. You could have three or four bikes you wanted to try and qualify yeah. on. We've just got one, yeah. so you can see why it's... But that, that must be more frustrating. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. When it's you get one bite yeah. of the cherry, yeah. really, don't you? But that's it, it's you know, nice we're, 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 if you're very lucky, you get three three bikes, you know, three, two yeah, lots yeah. of practices, you know, sometimes you mix yeah. them. But was then... it the same with the morning practice, though? Did you find, was it the same, you was, you boys, usually the and girls, were the first... Nicely to, covered. Uh, <laughs> Nicely <laughs> covered. Yeah, yeah. He was a man of all rescue. You can tell uh, Joe's I married. Do the morning, <laughs> <all right>. um, <laughs> were you the first to get sacrificed with that as well? Well, oh. I... We probably were, but it, it's not something that sticks in my mind that, yeah, we were always, yeah, poor relations. But, yeah, no, I, that that didn't seem to happen. I don't know why. Do you know the first year that they said, right, we're not doing morning practice anymore? Did you think, ah, oh, shh. No. Or, I, or was it? A, a I wish wish we was. I, I, I missed it, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, you were good. To, when, when they said you're not going to be yeah. doing it, you're like, but every bear in mind, like to our listeners, that is still a possible plan. Mm, yeah. You know, every time we go to sign yeah. on, you know, it's like, and I'm like the only blow, like on the solos, I feel like going more and on, bring on a more. Yeah. Like, I want to have such a shit practice week where they have to roll us up at five. I'm this irritating at four in the morning, mm. never mind four, like, you know, <laughs> at eight o'clock in the evening. I am 100% twat like, all the time. <laughs> Some bit on the side. That's what you need. But we'll get we'll get torn about that later on. <laughs> but it was very hard getting up at 
five o'clock when you've been into Cunard till two o'clock in the morning anyhow. So <laughs> but you're not that wrong. was that was what it was like as well. Because there were some psycho hotels down in yeah, like, the Walpole. The, the, there was a lot of psycho yeah, teams Cunard, used to live in. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. In the, a psycho like, hotel. Like, yeah. Bodice, the Birkhams, uh, yeah. the Binghams. Walpole, yeah. They were all all down and there. People, um, I think Kenny Ells might yeah. have been as well, possibly. Yeah, they it was so different there. then yeah. than, than now. It was so more laid back and yeah, the good old days. Well, I don't know what they're good. They probably weren't because if you'd had a few beers, you were good. off down Braille. It probably wasn't a yeah. good old days, but it it doesn't seem it didn't. Looking back, it wasn't wrong, but it obviously it was. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then that. That's but that's the, how it was then. Mm. Sorry, isn't it? That was accepted yeah. of that time, and that's what worked at that time. And you evolved to survive, don't you? You have to evolve to survive. Mm. They must have been doing something right when there was over hundred sidecars. It's outstanding, mm. that, isn't that's, it? Blows my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, so, I, yeah. Remember, I remember watching my first Manx Grand Prix with my father. And they were adding Scaffy on to the board, you know, the start number yeah, boards. Yeah, yeah. And it was the, I'm good wow. they got rid of that, oh, you know, yeah. the, the yeah. timeline. But yes, yeah. we've got to, yet again, arse covering, backpedalling, yet again, yeah. Dominic. But, you know, you've got to move with the times. But that that board iconic. was iconic, you know. Yeah, the, it was. You know, was, it, was, it, was it on slate? Yeah. Was it on yeah. slate? Yeah. Would it yeah, be on slate? I've actually, painted, I've actually painted got one. Wood, painted wood and they used to paint over <clears> the wood and then paint the numbers on and then paint it all black yeah. again and repaint the, number, yeah. the, the, the positions and the times or whatever it was on. And the only time scouts are useful. <laughs> they got all the badges, when's, then, when's the last they? time a house was on fine you thought I can't wear a scout and turn <laughs> yeah, up you know what I mean yeah, yeah. and the man comes round roll the buggers out you know what I mean you hold the flag you smile you wave and you write shit on slate That's, you've got one job in this country we haven't got that there you no, are. we're no. going to put the world to rights here tonight Joe 100% <laughs> Get I'll leave you to it, Dom. You're <laughs> I'll tell you what, but before we get carried away down the, you know, the politics element, now, we heard your story, you know, going off to the Isle of Man with your grandparents yeah, yeah. and going on holiday. Yeah. What was your first memory of the Isle of Man? <clears throat> oh, gosh. Running around the paddock as well, probably a 10-year-old ten year with the Founds family. Or that's, um, it's like Pete, Alan, Chris, Steve, the brother as well. Um, with, and the Muldoons and the Burkhams and the, Craig the Binghams and Craig Hallam, God bless him. Yeah, so that you were, all, we were all sidecar. Yeah, all sidecar crew. Hang, we were like hang out together, kind of thing. It was, it was mega. And Dad was still, Dad was racing then, so I think eighty six was probably Dad's first TT there. Hmm. Um, so I've grown up with racing my whole life, and I've oh, just always want to do roads. Like roads is the ultimate drug. It's the ultimate high when it's high. And obviously it's the ultimate mm. low when it all goes wrong, tragically, uh, sadly. Um, but I started racing in 2003. I got my... I got uni out of the way, started teaching. <laughs> Spoken like a true road racer. Just get that education yeah. shite and just just put that over there yeah. right now, the fun no, stuff. This is oh, what yeah. Do. Yeah. But the, the thing is... <laughs> She's a teacher. <laughs> Class, we Kids were, loved it, anyhow. They, they did. They, they, mm. it, it was like... Class. We would... We'd, oh. As teachers, you're there to inspire and to um, um, evoke questioning people uh, young minds and so like when I was teaching year five and six I'd be away racing and I'd I'd bring the uh, results sheets back from a race meeting wherever it was we were at and in a math session we'd do like all it would have all this data and we'd do like the mode median mean and range of this set of data and do graphs and all sorts and the kids just so you can work out where you need to go faster <laughs> yeah. that's, that's... miss john needs to make up time in glen helen <laughs> yes. by three seconds to get the lap record <laughs> I'll make it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then it was like, what they really got a kick out of was, oh, I know Missy's real name. She's called Fiona. <laughs> uh, my teacher's called Fiona, Miss. Are you called Fiona? <laughs> Miss, is that you? Mega. And it's like, and they loved it. And then when we did the Euro Cup in uh, 2006, at the the when we did that, the season, the championship, after each round, uh, we'd do like a video and bring it back to school, and all the c- children would watch it. And when we when we won the, the the when we won the championship that year, we brought the trophy back in, brought it back into school when it was the summer fete, um, and um, brought the sidecar in. Dad brought the sidecar down um, to the school, and kids had their photos on the sidecar, like a pound a pound a shot, helping raise money for school funds. Brilliant. So, and you know, they just they loved it. It was a different way, or it, sorry, not isn't was. 
it is a different way of, of life, just another element to the, you know, the makeup, the, the varied makeup that we've got of society, our um, environment, kind of our bubble, as it were. See, like you say, you were brought up in this world. You know, it was almost like, do I dare see a destined for you? You know, oh, and the God, fact yeah. of like, you know, if I yeah. if I want my life to continue, mm-hmm. you know, I need to be involved yeah. in this. I but... didn't know anything different, and I still don't know anything different. Dad was gutted when I didn't want to be a driver. Really? <laughs> yeah, I never wanted to drive. I'm happy going around on the roads on a mo- on the back of a motorbike. Um, I used to go water skiing. I'd be happy on the back of the boat, and I'm happy on the sidecar. I can go as fast as you like on a sidecar, but but. Put me in control of a handlebar no, or the throttle. Not your thing. No, really? no, but I can go as fast as the person I'm with. I and I, I encourage them to go faster. I can help them to go faster, but me to do that, no. Nah. Wow. What am I going to say, John? You're going to say, have you passengered? Have you passengered? I have once. And? Just, no, not really. <laughs> 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 well, I think I was pretty rubbish at it, to be fair. No, no, no. Who I did you pass in your fault? Oh, good oh, question. A bloke called Jeff Laycock, and it was at uh, Longridge. I don't know if you... There was a, there was a circuit near Preston at Longridge, and now it's a it's a caravan park, but it was in a quarry, and there was like a road around this quarry, and I, I passed in for Jeff there. So you haven't actually done a... Pro- okay, hate me for you saying this, but you haven't, you haven't really done it. Yeah, you haven't, done it, really done, it. Done, it. haven't really done it. I, I did that day, but... No, he didn't want me as a passenger or rubbish. Is that as a driver, you just the control thing? Um, I, you need to be in control? No, I don't think so. Oh, you no, just thought, I, just, I don't want to be hanging on to this. I, I don't, don't think wanna... I'm just right for it somehow. I just, yeah, I don't think I could just. You're a driver it. build, it, not a passenger it, it build. It does take a certain <laughs> mentality, <laughs> lunatic, <laughs> to, to be a passenger, I, I think. I, I could, you have I've, to be so agile. I've done it once on a grass grass track oh, that's now that's nuts mega. yeah that yeah, is yeah. nuts yeah. That, yeah. and uh, unfortunately I got on with a, a lad who's fairly handy and done the yeah. British Masters a few oh, times wow. and I said just go steady because I don't like not being in control and you lads don't understand that do you because you no, just no. if you're stupid enough to get on red then, rag yeah you better red hang mist, on sorry fuck you know it's good it, fun but I, just yeah. uh, when that afterwards I just thought oh, <laughs> so we did uh, Alton Park together didn't we? Yeah. On a on um, an LCR, and I'm used to the Baker chassis, <laughs> being a Baker. <laughs> but I did it on the LCR with John, and the the bottom chicane. I've always found the bottom chicane really hard coming out of that last uh, left to the right to go up Clay Hill. I hate it. And um, yeah, oh. the LCR is a nervous chassis, <clears throat> mind. They are, mm. they're not, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we won't go into that. <laughs> oh, we will. We won't go into we the are now. You, you, you how know. fabulous a Baker chassis is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you didn't need to hit me that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought We like are a, talking about this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like a, a pee on a tin <laughs> tray. We won, though, didn't, didn't we? And that's what you said we won, didn't we? <laughs> but easy, I think we were, I bruised you, didn't I? I said, like, excuse me, slow down. <laughs> Because I didn't think I was going to make it out of the corner. but And you were mad. I was mad with you. I had to make my own tea that night. <laughs> Gosh, the thing is, you've been making it ever since. <laughs> that, that one joy, that, that was the win oh. worth it, John. Yeah, it was. It's always worth the win, isn't it? <laughs> Good luck. that line first. Right, going back to the TT, my, I started racing in 2003. Um, and I did my first TT six months later in 2004. So I'd only been racing six months, straight into the British Championship. Dad and I were doing Scottish Championship. Then we joined with Mick Harvey um, to finish the British Championship off in 2003. Is it the same as solo that you had to do so many mm. short circuit meetings before you could do? Yeah, like you've got to get your national. Yes, it was that the same? Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Yeah, you've got, got to get your national and then like had to be seen because I'd only been racing six months had to be seen as well. But because I'd done so much with Dad at a British Championship level already, they were happy that well, she didn't have a screw loose. So, and... so as a passenger, you have to go through exactly the same process yeah. as the drivers yeah. and the riders yeah. do. It's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Because I've only done eight, but you have to do it in a certain time period, don't you? I've got eight signatures on my passenger licence. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, oh no, <laughs> oh no. Hey, hey, hang on a minute. Oh, no, I, I need a bit I, on the I, I, no. <laughs> We're getting that out in a minute. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. No, no, I've done a bit, fair bit. I've done, um, I've done Croft, Cadwell. I've done, oh, God, I was so close to the Southern. You know, Mike, do you know Michael Kirkup? Yes. He's, yes, a, local, yes, he's yes. a local lad to hear. And, oh, we were that close to doing really? the Southern together. And it's, I'm gutted he never got to the Isle of Man because um, I did Croft British round with him. 
Now that was that was my first time in an LCR, but I've you know Nick Jukes, yes, Nick Jukes, a passenger. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, do you know Boris Stroud? Yeah, yeah, yeah Boris. Yeah. Boris, oh, our passenger. Fit, what? What? No, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scot Scotland was named after Boris. Right. <laughs> I, I, yeah, he's, he owns Scotland, I think. He, he, he is. He's. A, I mean, he's. He's. Mm. Like now, a little bit of a background check on Boris. You know, he's he's built his own company, but a very very industrial wealthy company but he's so passionate about keeping sidecars and he buys teams outfits right now and uh, and race himself and now now, Mm. Boris can hit me all he wants and if he hits me he'll kill me straight out so I know this is a safe (laughs) thing to say Boris isn't a front runner if you know what I mean, you know you know when he looks at like Lee Crawford and you look at the birds you look at yourselves and you look at that that elk you know Boris isn't on that pace he is unbelievably passionate and like his wife from America, and he's Bonnie. He, yeah. Bonnie, what a lovely what She's mm. super, and she passengers as well. Well, I got I got the gig shit. Like Boris chucked her out, and like I've like you know when you sit like on um, northeast meetings and like club yeah. meetings, you'd always get a meeting call. Can anyone passenger? <laughs> yeah. so like, every meeting and every yeah. and, the, and the only reason I jumped in to do it is me, ma'am always wanted to do it and every time oh, this wow. tannoy came out you know remember the charity do they even do the charity the rides, yeah, yeah. rides like, yeah. that's yeah. good to hear Cadwell, yeah, Cadwell do it. Yeah. oh that's good so mm. like for people who are listening to this yeah. revival. and want to have a go at it you can mm. you know you co- come in pay your ticket yeah. and you can for charity this money goes and yeah. these psychopaths and I mean it like you know and you can pick you can pick your mode you can go slow fast or John Holden <laughs> <laughs> it will, he'll risk a divorce to get a lap time that, that's what that's what I'm talking about here but you know you can come yeah. along put your money down yeah. and it goes to a good cause yeah. Yeah. and I thought you can imagine me, both me and my dad race bikes and my voice come on man just go on you know yeah. you, you regret things you don't do and like, no 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 and I went you know look I'm, I'm going to have a go at it but the first time I did it was I never even met Kirkup and it's like I went to the office and said, yeah. "Oh, I go on then. I'll, I'll have a sign up." And his last went, "I like, you dominate." I went, "I um, oh, right, get on." So I was on my thousand. I got off oh, wow. really? and I got on the sidecar. You got, have you ever done this before? No, I didn't need slider on. I had everything on. <laughs> had everything on, and like there's me going, oh, "I can't be this hard. You got any grip?" Like I'm on the start line, and I'll never ever forget this because you've got to lean back to get the weight on the yeah. back tie to get the grip and I remember Kirkup's big Durham hand pushing me back <laughs> and I'm thinking how am I going to grip onto this car never mind because I'm leaning yeah. on him ready Hanging for turn one I watched, I watched YouTube after I agreed to it how to psych our passenger like lean out do this do that and he literally just pushed me back to get the grip I was like holy f-. and we went from like last to like seventh and there's just <laughs> chairs up in the air and then I, I had to like like you say, I came in, I nicked a pair of my dad's style Martin boots <laughs> that he bought for 20 quid, knee flexing him, yeah. knee, like um, took me knee yeah, sliders yeah. up. I yeah. took, Come on, you both. Oh, I was like, that. I took, <laughs> I, took, I took me back protector out. I'm like that. I'm just standing there like a pro on the next time, <laughs> leaning back. I'm like, yeah. But I would, I desperately would love to do a lap of the TT, mind. Parade lap. No bollocks to that! I want to do a raid. Oh no, I don't parade. I want to do. I want to do a raid. I would like. You know it, what's, what's his no, what's his name? Um, that's terrible. I've totally forgotten his name. Mike is it Russell? Mike. Mike Russell. Mike, Mike, yeah, Russell. Yeah, yeah. Jack. He's. He's st- is he still trying to do that or has he achieved it oh, he's he trying to do last year last year he tried to do every mm. class mm. yeah that takes some doing doesn't it, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah takes some, some doing two or three some, and, some, and yeah. some backing as well <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. yeah but like, you know to have the, the infrastructure around him as well but to do it. but even to go back to like what you two go through it's like when you look at a sidecar you, you anyone who's listening to this who's got any curiosity about coming this, you have to see your knees are on a pad like that thick mm. you lend over your tank the air box is involved you can't move and the passengers like getting the worst plumbing job in the world eh? <laughs> it's like trying to plumb a backseat into mm. a water butt you know oh, while blindfolded yeah but like it, it's hair dryers inside yeah, two and a half inch off the floor at 160 mile an hour it's but just, it feels no seat no, no, no air <laughs> Bags. You've kind of got the worst of at everything. Least in a car, yeah. you're protected, aren't yeah. And you? Yeah, and that is the thing. There's no protection. Yeah. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong yeah. properly. And, and you're sort of sh- you're and stuck you're, in there, right? Yeah. 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 We learn. Sorry, when we uh, every winter we always watch the onboards just to get your head back in it and your eyes up to speed at going that fast. Mm. Yeah. Because you get out of yeah, your brain slows down when you're not out of the hell of that. And so yeah. watching the onboards, you're getting your your eyes and your brain 
up to Even speed, you just reminding you going, yourself. It just yeah. keeps you, yeah. gets the speed, you know, coming back yeah. at you, doesn't it? Well, one year I was watching it and a friend came round whilst I was watching it and she said two things to me that have stuck with me forever and I know I've probably told lots of people, but the first thing she said was, why are you watching it on Fast Forward? And I said, we're not, this is it, she's <laughs> joking. <laughs> He said, this is fast forward. I said, no, this is... And this was like a Monday. It was like 107 mile an hour lap. It's just a, a Monday practice yeah, yeah, yeah. of uh, on board of, dad and, of, of my dad's that we were watching. And uh, and then the second thing, she says, well, where's your seatbelt? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know what... You have the wrong friends. I'm just putting that out there. You need to change it. Like, you need to stay as yeah. a sidecar passenger. It's funny Never when you say that, though, about the, the videos, because when I was learning the place, I remember trying to watch a lap with Johnny Barton. And it made no sense. I remember just getting to the bottom of Braille and thinking, I, I need to just pack yeah. in. There's, uh, I'm not, there's no point in me even going there because I can't process this. And then I started watching a video of McGuinness on a pattern. Yeah. And it was like 100 and That was, that was the classic hour. pattern, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it was that much slower you could, right? Yeah, you have fine. time, yeah. And that, but that was right until I did the Manx. And then when I'd done the Manx, then I could watch Johnny's video because then yeah. it all made sense. Yeah. Yeah. But you, like when they say to you, oh, you need to watch you know, to newcomers, you need to watch this video, Michael doing 134. Complete waste of time, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Your, bra- your brain you just can't. Up, don't you, you, don't, yeah. you don't know where you're going. Yeah. You need to watch no, yeah. a nice, steady, slow lap on all the right lines. And then, and then, then the fast yeah. forward ones yeah. make sense, don't they? I, sorry, no, no. I, I think what I do find... I've I've done that many laps round there now, and when I'm when I'm out there, I've got to tell myself, "Come on," because I feel like I'm driving to work. <laughs> really? You know, seriously, I don't. That's all I'm natural. not. I'm not. I don't feel like I have to tell myself, "Come on, start pushing," because I'm just riding. Do you know what I mean? Even though the the times are not so bad, I, it's weird. It's come on, I need, I need to push. I need to you know, squeeze a bit more out of it rather than just riding to work. You, you know your TT wins? Yeah. How were those laps in comparison to what you're saying now? Um, no, they didn't They didn't feel anything. That and, first and I can, one, though, was so close. For you and Claffy. Yeah. Or was it point yeah. zero one two of a second? But, I, but you, you'll know, and you'll know, I come in and my son's usually with me. And I'm I'm coming up the return road thinking that were a good lap, you know what I mean? And just going. <laughs> and then when when I when I come in and he said, he'll say, Dad, you did, you know, whatever. It, get out of it. It's weird how it just. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm do you up, feel the same? I, f- I think every and I'm actually over the moon that you you two are going through the same thing. But even that's more interesting from a drive because you're in control of the yeah. throttle, the pace. Yeah. Can you feel? A good lap or oh, a bad yeah. lap. Yeah, you can feel when you're on on song when you when you're floating from you know like apex to apex kind of thing. But it's exactly the same. Sometimes you'll think, bloody hell, excuse me, we did God, and it's like no, it was a useless lap. And sometimes you think you when you really you flogged it and you worked hard, it's like no, actually you put a PB in. Is that, do, do you and the driver generally agree on that as well, or have you have you come yeah. and gone? Ooh. Wow, that, that must have been a mint turn. They've gone, no, that's a shit yeah. one. And then, yeah. No, the us- passenger usually says we were on it then, or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think passenger can feel it more than because they're, and... they're being taken at that speed, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. you're like. Yeah. It's like coming out mm. of the gooseneck, you know, like that, fir- that mm. first double left before you head right. It's like, come on, keep keep pushing and don't don't back off at that first left because otherwise you lose your speed for the rest of the yeah. run up the mountain. And it's like when we were getting it, it was like, yes, Dad, yes, you've we've, you've got it, kind of thing. That was the only one one section you could tell if you were going to have a, a a good lap up the mount, you know, mm. up the mountain section. Because you could thing. tell by the RPM, How the, yeah, and the speed well, through yeah, that yeah, section. Yeah. If you if you roll it slightly, that's it. You've you've lost it, kind of thing for the the, the drag up the hill. You usually know by. I don't know, quarter bridge, whether the thing's right or not, whether the bike's... Mm. Or if you can have a hard ride. Yeah, because you're missing... <laughs> yeah, quarter bridge. You're missing We're going to call this secret to a marriage this episode. <laughs> <laughs> a bit on the side, you know, when you have a hard ride. That's a... Very rarely you go out and the bike's the same as it was when you got off it last yeah. time. Because you're always trying to get something better out of it, aren't you? Mm. You'll stiffen suspension up or you'll change a bit of gear in or... It's never... Never the same. And my, my George, my team, they play it with me because I'm always trying to get 
Always changing something, trying Just, to tweak things to I, get it I better. don't know whether you do the same or not. You I think, thought. I think sometimes does. you can. Yeah. Sometimes you can. The competitiveness that you just want to go faster, don't you? Get that. Yeah, I'll say. I, th- I think when you stop doing that, that's probably the time when you do jacking. Isn't it? Because yeah. you go, it's right enough. You're just yeah. riding around, aren't you? Yeah. When you're constantly mm. saying, well, I'm not happy with this, that's that competitive edge in you, isn't it? Yeah. And the, the... Well, you float around, don't you? I never, I've never yeah. floated around. You <clears throat> float around there. And it wasn't yeah, until. Explain it all for yeah, you. Yeah, no, thank, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's in, in your mind, it's so smooth and it comes so naturally. You don't feel like you're Everything's doing it. perfect. You know, you don't feel like you're, lovely. They're right, it's floated. You're not on a bike. You, it, it, it's just. When everything's right and you're comfy and you don't feel like you're riding it, you're just like... Yeah. It's just... Yeah. And I never had that feeling till 2018. Really? <laughs> and every practice session, because the weather was amazing, it was phenomenal that year, oh, wasn't awesome, it? Wasn't it? Mm-hmm. It's a yeah. fortnight of solid sun, water, all sun. I'd still... We never got as many laps, I'd did we? I'd only broken back in 2017. Oh, you did your back in the end. That's right, back in 19. Oh, what a bugger. So to, okay, we've, we've, okay. There's loads of questions leading up to eighteen, but I feel like we're in this zone about eighteen. Can we yeah. can we talk about it? Yeah, yeah of course yeah. we can. Yeah. Um, and so, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Robbed him of another win. We're in lead, and he crashed. <laughs> We had a mechanical failure. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, let's 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 get deep and dark into this. Let's yeah. talk about the beginning of the day. You know, was Can we it... go further back than that? Why? Go on. Can go we on. go back to 04? Yeah. Why? Eight. Yeah. It's, your, I, eight. it's your interview. Miles, if you want to go to 04, yeah. go for I it. My, 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 that was my first TT. Yeah, yeah. And because Mick Harvey, who was riding with, had done well previously, we set off at number nine that year. How many were um, on the grid that year? Oh. Must be 60 or 60 so, wasn't something, it? Yeah. That's yeah. still a good, yeah. still a good yeah. strong yeah. field. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. What does that call Yeah. And Dad set off at number 10. Never. So I set off in front of Dad. So I knew. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you later, Dad. That's for telling me Santa's not real. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert, by the way, to all our young listeners. <laughs> No, that's because I never got my scrambler. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we just did it that last time. You should have bought me a pony. <laughs> sorry, sorry, so carry on. Every night, I I made some and laminated some like posters to stick on the back that stick on the back of the the wheel that um, the back of the fairing, so Dad would see them as we were setting off. So I, I would have like turned out nice again. Does my bum look big in this? <laughs> What's for dinner? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, and thank you, Marshalls. Yeah. <laughs> and it got, uh, yeah, it, Marshalls it, loved it. Yeah, the Marshalls loved it. I got, uh, sorry, I got bum of the year that year at yeah. the quarter of uh, governors. <laughs> jo- I think John's it was actually still year, sore not about idiot that. Of the year. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, on, and when it came to the race, no, I had an overtaking sign, like two sidecars <laughs> for a proper overtaking sign, and that got ripped off straight away. <laughs> <laughs> that is class. Did your dad pass you then? In that race? Mm, yes. No, not that first, not that race. That was the first race. Mm. Second race, we caught fire at Hanley's. Uh, yeah, as far as excuses go, that's mm. that's fairly up yeah, there, yeah, isn't yeah. it? You yeah. know, it's like, you know... The yeah, fuel one. regulator come loose on the first lap, coming into Hanley's. So we had nine gallons of fuel we had to tip out into the grass. The, we, we weren't allowed to keep it. We had to get the... We pulled into the side onto that that straight into that run into Hanley. That's a long way I had to run back well. up the track to go and get a uh, fire extinguisher and shout for them to wave flags. And uh, Mick had to run down the road in the opposite direction to get another fire extinguisher. We had to put the fire out, and I was it was thick, solid black smoke across the track. So I was directing like side cars that were coming the safe side of the track kind of thing. We had to put the fire out with the help of the marshals. Wheeled the bike off the road, but yeah, we had a full tank of fuel. I had to take it off, tip it into the field. Can, can we can we just separate road racing from short circuits <laughs> at this point? No, because you're coming through there, coming in the yeah, Hanleys. Flat tap, flat that, chat. Now on a big bike, what we're doing, we're coming into there. You're hooking two gears out, and then you're back to full throttle. What is that Are with a sidecar? We're rolling. We're just rolling. But into, gear through Hanleys. So you you've come. It's come so over. Crunk your body, isn't it? Yeah. Crunk your body, and then you've got yeah. right, right, and then you've got a you've got a left. Now is that the eleventh? It's the eleventh. Yeah. That's the yeah. eleventh milestone. Now that is gassing on mm. uh, solo. Yeah. What are you doing? It's on? down a gear and on the power again. Just yeah. 
two people on a sidecar. Yeah. What? How many litres is a sidecar? Four, forty-two. I got on, forty-two on, litres to start with. <laughs> so you start with forty-two litres. You do so three laps. You've still got thirty-seven litres by the time you yeah. get to there, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. And you're coming through there. You're on the one side of the road, and you're on the other. And how fast are you going at that point? Mm. At a, must be doing 130 miles. Yeah, hour, I think yeah. 130-ish, yeah. And you're running up the road for a fire extinguisher. Just, I'm just, paint, I'm just, yeah. I'm just yeah. painting the scene because yeah. you know when Point people my think, yeah, because my gloves, my glove and my arm are on fire just from like the 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 fat, you know, like the natural resins in your in your gloves and and what have you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, right, I know your dad's your dad first, but a, a better part of him went yes. <laughs> I think he passed me already. I think he passed because I think oh, right, it was a bit yeah. of relief that you'd already yeah. gone yes. by. Yeah, yeah, yeah understandable. Yeah. Did he have reservations about you doing it? That, that uh, yeah. Because <sighs> as a dad of girls, I'd, I've got two girls, and I, I don't, I don't know if I'd be. No, okay. I'm going to reverse that question. Know. Is it, is it worse because? You've got girls, if you know what I mean. Is it? Would it be worse as your father having his daughter racing? Or a son, you know. I bet he was no, no, proud as hell when, oh, God. when you were in front of him on the line. No, I don't yeah. mean that no, horribly. No, 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 which no, is no. He just sees you as... he, he wished he had he wished he had boys as opposed to girls, but you don't treat my sister girl, and I. We, I don't know where we're going with this, but I was always a tomboy anyway. Yeah. And my sister, mechanics from for dad and when. When Dad mm. and I were racing, my sister, she still does get out, does all the mechanicing, she does all the more tech stuff. Um, yeah, with the engine, ch- not the engine tuning, the, the, the mapping on that. The mapping on the bike. You know, she does the pit boarding, she sorts the, f- the food out. She's sort, ah, oh, she's a trooper, is my sis. Sorry, brain injuries. Where are we? I've forgotten what we're talking Just about. Just about your Sorry. dad and bothered about you as a girl oh, going yeah. racing. Yeah, so proud. Because I don't mean that in a. No, 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 no. no, no, you, no you know, no, we're, no. In, we're in a world where you can't it, fucking say that. Yeah, no, can you? But no. I don't mean it in that way. And I've never like, lived like uh, that. It's, protective. We're all yeah, as a, as, a, as a dad, yeah. little lads, you think, well, they're going to get bumped and bruised because yeah. they're mental, aren't they? They run around. Little girls, you feel like it's my little. As a dad, yeah, I need to protect you. Yeah. But then in he's the same just wanted breath, always, always wanted the best, and yeah, he's always wanted us to succeed, whatever it is that we've done. I mean, oh, he got fed up of running us around, you know, to like gymnastics or race walking or athletics or cross don't country, talk, whatever it was that we would do. Yeah, and I'd, <laughs> I'd do something for six months. I know one thing for you. <laughs> He wouldn't be taking you to nail bar or hairdressers, would he? No. He'd be taking you doing some mechanical or gymnastic or something, wouldn't he? I remember my dad cutting my sister's hair. Oh, perfect. You know what I mean? Just like, the other man, there you go, bugger off, get up. That's his job. Sit into class, isn't it? Oh, bless. No. No, but, but, no, but also, no, but I tell you what, let's spin that. What about your dad racing? You're setting off in front of your dad. And it's your dad mm. buying it. Were you thinking about him? Were oh, you, yeah. Like... Well, you're getting on with your own job, just like when Dad and I mm. race together. You don't worry about what the other's doing. You're there doing your job. You want them to do well, but at the same time, you want to beat them. Mm. You don't want anything adverse to happen. You want everybody to finish, but, yeah, you want to beat them. But then it didn't it, happen, but... <laughs> but then it's, it's not good from my point of view because I'm racing against Fiona and her dad, and they're there, and you've got to make a move on them or something, yeah. and and you just don't want to upset what they're doing or or put them in any danger. That's hard yeah. work as well, yeah. and that's that's quite a fine, that's a very fine balance because you've got to treat everyone like that, but it'll be magnified. Yeah, in I mean, a no, yeah. wouldn't it feel it just be. there. Well, the, don't the, mean, there's, there's, look at that ass. There's an emotional the attachment year, in that. Yeah. There's an emotional <laughs> attachment that no, that you haven't got to anybody else. You're not, you're not married to anyone else no. on no, that grid. Yeah. Yeah. Bit on the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have that now. You put it aside, yeah. don't you? And you get on with your job. You're there yeah. doing a job kind of thing. But yeah, now you've I, got now it. I have it with my son. George and I, George. Drives a sidecar at British Championship, and I drive a sidecar at British Championship, and you can be going into a corner, and what? Do you know what I mean? And I, I'll probably give him the corner, where I shouldn't do, but he won't. Anybody he else, won't tell anybody me. Anybody else you won't give it to? No. Me. But <laughs> just, I, just anybody that's listening out there. I always remember. <laughs> oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, you don't you don't become John Holden without giving away a corner. That's, <laughs> that, you know, let's let's put that straight. <laughs> you you'll have been with him <laughs> when you're not racing, yeah. and you'll have been with him when you're racing. Yeah. And yes, if and if he crashed 
and you're racing, it's you are worried about it, but you're focused on what you're doing. Mm. When you're not racing, your head's in a completely different. Yeah. Yeah. And that feeling of panic or despair is amplified. And because mm. I remember the first time racing with a mate and then going and just helping him yeah. and him crashing and that yeah. feeling of, fuck, well, he's on. So it's a crash. It shouldn't feel any different, but it does, doesn't it? You mm. panic yeah. so much more. It's uh... well when you're out there and there's there's a red flag. They stop the race, and you you know, you, first thing you do is where, where's it? where's Joe? You know, yeah, right? yeah. is it yeah. him or whatever? Well, it was like you at Germany last year, wasn't it? At Osterschlebe, and everyone's come in, and I'm there. Where's John? <laughs> oh, bugger, he's, he's not come round. Oh. <laughs> Open that I've just brought down. Yeah, yeah. You do, you, you do don't you? Yeah. And you I go into autopilot. It... You just deal with it. You 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 set your emotions aside. It's like well, yeah, you leave yeah. it outside the ring. You leave everything outside the ring, don't you? When mm. you when you arrive at a race meeting, yeah, yeah. You, nobody wants to get hurt. You don't go racing to get hurt or worse. You go there to live your dream, don't you? Yeah. Particularly like with the Isle of Man and. But that takes us into 2018, doesn't it, Pete? <sighs> I'm doing the good lad. editing now. Yeah. Good lad. <laughs> good lad. Hey, John, you're in charge, right? We're away. Yeah. Seen yeah. a bit. <laughs> so 2018 was the first year for me that I felt every single practice we went out, we were doing. In practice, we did 310 mile an hour laps, and Dad and I. Not not 310 mile an hour. No, three, John, 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 three, the lady's laps. talking. Yeah. She did 300 mile an hour. You leave a B. <laughs> three separate 110 mile an hour laps. I was thinking, I don't remember That's the record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let her roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd, I'd done a, like 110 in 2016, so that was like, I'd, Dad and I, we got like the first woman on a side car to get into the 110 club. It's like, God, after all these years, trying mm. and trying, it's like achieved a dream kind of thing. This is never only like 35 or mm. in the 110 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, there is thirty five. I think. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's that's yeah. A, mm. that just shows. It's like the one thirty club now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, but the we've got a ten yeah. sidecar club. Well, yeah. Now in the sidecars, there's a hundred and fifteen mm. club, isn't there? Mm. And there's only a handful that, that are that, in that. That's what I mean. It, it just show, it doesn't matter what discipline it is. Yeah. It, that yeah. is just surreal. But like you're saying, yeah. you're the first ones to get into the hundred and ten. Yeah. yeah. No, After that, all this time of of trying, kind of thing. So that was twenty sixteen. You did that first one hundred and ten. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then you did three hundred and tens in practice in twenty eighteen, and it just felt perfect. It just felt wonderful, and for that first time, that year was the first year I felt like we were floating around that we finally had learnt it. Yeah, <laughs> after yeah. all this time, because you every time you go out, you're constantly learning. You're constantly trying to get through quicker, faster, make the gear change smoother, slicker, accelerate through. Was that just... immediately you thought? Oh, or was it a couple of nights in before? You know, there was no, a few tweaks. It was just straight. Away. You just straight, straight in. Straight in. What just number were nice. you? Were you number twelve? Oh, sixteen. I think. Oh, yeah, sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. So I'd set off. No, on eleven. Two. Sorry, eleven. <clears throat> Apologies, eleven. I'd set off number two on that mm. behind Ben and Tom. In the first race in twenty eighteen. Yeah, in the before they stopped it, and uh... <laughs> not that he's sour about it. <laughs> But I, I, I got to the bungalow and they stopped us there and I didn't know what, what was going on and it, you crashed, hadn't yeah. you? I didn't know we crashed. Talk us through that. We'd, uh, what were we doing? Um, before, before oh, council yard, we'd caught, um, Lewis. Um, we'd caught Lewis and Paddy up because they were, they were eventually going to go on and break down. But we'd caught Lewis and Paddy up and I was trying to work out whether we'd overtake them um, into um, schoolhouse or Parliament Square hospital curtains. So you've gone through conquer trees. But you? this is the ginger hall section, which is yeah. the bumpy. Now bear in mind on a solo Dad's for us. Favorite bit. Yeah, really. Not my favorite. Now it's well. shut wow. up. Okay, right. There's a different breed. We've, we've got an elevated version. That ginger <laughs> hall is horrible. The fact, never mind that on a bacon tree. That is. Oh, it's amazing. Really. Yeah. So, like, like, is like, it stable through there? Or is it jumping all just, over the road? Oh, if you've been on a motor, you've got a lot of yourself just in, lock skipping yourself about, up. just bubbling about. Do you know what I mean? Trying For me, eyes, I don't know what it's like on side. Keep your eyes level while everything else is. Yeah, well, around. that's exactly what it's like on a solo. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's just really interesting here, passengers' element to it, because you're going. You're thinking about the overtake when yeah. you're not in control. Yeah. You're, you're, you're having a preempt. Read, yeah, yeah. What he's going to do next? Yeah. yeah. 
to make sure you're in the right place at right the right there, time yeah. to get it round the corner efficiently and to get it round the corner. So you threw K trees through that right left. Then, and Sky then you've Hill got, before yeah, Milne Town. Just before Milne Town, yeah. that, wasn't it? The handlebar round, broke. Round, round the left, the fast left before you do oh, Milne Town. Yeah. What, what broke, sorry? The handlebar broke. So I didn't know we'd had an accident. <laughs> Dad had a few like seconds kind of thing. And yeah, I was working out where we are going to overtake. Next thing, I've woken up in hospital two weeks later. Jeez. I remember that. Not knowing what had happened. But apparently I'd, the bike had got fired into the banking, dad got catapulted into a, a field full of brambles and nettles, got a complicated broken femur, I hit the tree, got spat back into the track, broke my neck, tore the nerves out of my arm, did something to my leg, smashed my head fairly badly and got a nice few, a lot of brain injuries that I didn't realise about until a good six months after. But they were t- kind of thing. They were talking paralysation. Yeah, they were like, they were, like you were, yeah. Yeah. It, it, I've cut so far through my, my spinal cord. Um, it's like thousands of an inch, or thousands of a millimetre, sorry, of being paralysed. You wow. look at the, 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 the scans of my neck and, you know, when you cut yourself, you heal. Your spinal cord doesn't heal. It stays like that forever. Really? So, so yeah, I've brought my neck and I've got a plate in there, but uh, a cage, sorry. But you, the spinal cord itself... So, yeah, can't really race, can't do water skiing. So it's a bugger. Hmm. And I just want to go racing. <laughs> so, so I live it through, John, now. <laughs> so what point did you know that that had happened? Well, they, they, they stopped us at Bungalow. There was Ben and myself. Um, I think Tim was there. I don't know, I don't know who else was, was there. And we're waiting and uh, Marshall come to me and, hey, John, every minute. And... Uh, they took me all, you know, the, the hut there, took me to all to, it's Fiona and uh, her dad, they crashed. But we think they're all right. I think Fiona's just got soft tissue injuries. So. That old chestnut. Yeah. Right. But <clears throat> it's better. It, it's better that way. It was played down and I'm pleased it was. Because so they you don't need way, sensationalization. No. So I waited there and waited there and I'm trying to find out what was going on. And then they decided to let us go back. Uh, Reverse the, course direction. No. Oh, I saw so you on the um, other side of the accident. Yeah, you would yeah, have come home yeah, the normal yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. So they took us back uh, to the grandstand and hung about there for a while. And uh, they come to me and said, "Look, John, you've a you've a choice here. You either race again, or we'll take you straight to Noble to see Fiona." I said, "Well, I wish she what? She's all right. She's talking and she's a uh, soft tissue injuries. She'll be all right. Don't worry." Uh, I said, well, I'm going to race then. And so, I wa- wanted him to race, if that makes sense. So if I knew anything, I would have wanted to It was about do, wait, two hours. Uh, you probably three hours. Wait, three hours. We were, we were hanging about. For... Anyhow, I went again. But I was saying about changing things. So then I'm thinking, oh, I'm sure it was just undergeared or whatever. So I changed the gearing. And it's not just saying it. I was in the lead. Birchels were just, I could see them. They were there. Do you know what I mean? So I, I caught Ben and Tom up. And then they, they stopped it. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have to just change something. So I did change the gearing and come second. Didn't go again. I don't know what they did. They, they, ben just found something and away he went. But, uh, so then TT organisers, as soon as I got off the bike, they, they took me to Nobles. So, and, they were great, weren't they? Yeah. They and, uh, and I come to see you and you're a bit out of it and one thing, they're probably on morphine or whatever. And, and I thought, well, she's going to be all right. And then, I threw up over here twice, though, didn't I, apparently? <laughs> and then when I got to Noble, not no, Noble's, um, Aintree, they've uh, helicoptered me over to Aintree um, In a the few house days. Shop, so you spent a few days at Noble's? No, no, yeah. I weren't. Were it? No, you weren't long. Was it not? No. All right. I, I got so, air medical. Yeah. So they generally they get you yeah. out of uh, Noble's. Yeah. I, I, was I think it was the same day for you. three hours. Yeah. Then they had me in well, okay. the And the nurse, yeah. nurse went with you and one thing and another and... Yeah, and I stayed because that was race one, weren't it? Yeah, and then you come to see me over in um, in entry, didn't you? And because I was in so much pain, they had me on so much medication, and that's why I didn't know anything for a fortnight. But apparently, I was trying to drive the commode around the around the ward, being a Formula One driver. <laughs> 
Once a racer, yeah. always a racer. There you are. Well, John, we've got some bad news. Your wife's lost her marbles, but she's still got it. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's my that's my girl. <laughs> but it's mad, isn't it? How you can Fiona's led in hospital, and I didn't, and you can put that somewhere in your head, can't you? you? Just get on with what you're going to do. And get on right with here. what you're doing. Bizarre, isn't it? I don't. I it's don't. Not normal, I think a lot of it? people are same. It's bizarre. Yeah. I, what, you how can you so, do that? Yeah. You have to be so switched on as racers, don't you? Yeah. You have to be uber switched on. Because you've got so much that you're in control of that's happening all around you and you've got to adapt constantly to the situation that you find yourself in. But I think a lot of that goes back to that thing of you've been preparing for that for yeah. Yeah. 12, well, 11 and a half months, haven't you? And subconsciously, well, that's all you've been preparing for. Yeah. I, te- mm. I, I tell you what, Joe, I'm, I'm going to push that even a little bit further. The fact that when you got married, the pair you, you were both in sidecar racing yeah. and you're both doing the TT. That moment must have been in your mind the second you From met each other. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, you're both racing Isle of yeah. Man. You know, that thought of one of you were going to get a phone call, potentially. Mm. And unfortunately, you got yeah. you got the stick of it. And you occasion. almost won. How does that feel? I'm joking. <laughs> no, but, no, but, no, but, no, but seriously, though, you know, yeah. that moment, like you're saying, yeah. you're preparing for it. and you're pre- mm. The thing is, this sport, especially the TT and it, you you put everything into yeah. it. It is truly a lifestyle. You know, you're talking about growing up in a tent. You're all pissed off from grandma. That's why I watch it. it. You are able over there to to just remove certain parts yeah. of it yeah. because it's it, it isn't just you some have to, don't people you? that play football or tennis. That to them, that's a hobby and a sport. Mm. To us, going motorbike racing is a complete way of life. Yeah. That it start that is the center of the universe. Yeah. Isn't it? And yeah. when when you're doing the TT, you go to the edge of reason, and then it's when you go beyond, yeah, into your zone when you're really on edge, where you're really you're on that fine fine line, aren't you? And I think it's when you feel most alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably if you mm. if you did drugs, it would be when you were on your highest. Yeah. But racing for us is is the drug, isn't it? Yeah. And that's when you feel that elation so when you're doing well at the tt oh my oh. gosh it's the it's the class a yeah, <laughs> of drugs yeah. kind of thing but mm. when you break down or worse it's like not with a condoning drugs for you but... <clears throat> no 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 <laughs> in fact i think <laughs> leads us nicely yeah it leads us nicely to the, the next bit on the side <laughs> oh dear me it's all right talking about me having the crash but you do you you don't go racing to crash no. You accept that it could happen, and you deal with it, and it, you don't sensationalise it. You just get on with it, and it's it's part of. Unfortunately, you get used to it. <laughs> Here's a question for you then. So, as husband and wife, there's a there's a certain challenge and tie and feeling and emotional attachment there to, to with the TT and both competing. How does that change with George doing it? Mm. Just adds adds to the the yeah. recipe, as it were. Doesn't well, I like that. Does it? Does I it like just, that. <laughs> is, is it is it different? Do you feel a it sense of responsibility? Because, yeah, because it you weren't responsible for, for Fiona, and no. you weren't responsible for John. But and I'm not yeah, saying it's... you're going to be responsible for George, but as a parent, you do yeah. feel responsible, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you want you want him to do well. You don't want him to get hurt. You want him to excel. And just got to. Yeah. The, the reason I ask the question, I don't think we've can. had a husband, wife, and son that all go to the Isle of Man. That all that, it, that who's ever yeah. when, when we interviewed Neil McKenzie, it, it's the same thing talking to him about yeah. the level he's been at, and then having to go through it then with his kids. It's, yeah, yeah. You're in a different position. So for you guys doing this with with George going, it's another like. Well, it's a very unique thing. It continues isn't it? the legacy, doesn't it? I think it's brilliant. By we're the way. building. Mm. We're building now for his debut, twenty-five. Do you know what I mean? He's yeah. Got the bike and that, and all I can try and do is install. Well, I don't need to really because he's been the other side of me all his life. All his it? life, he's seen how I do it. Yeah. And he's probably helped me do it better than I would have done myself. Do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, do, he's, yeah, yeah. he's been there as a little lad and he's he's grown up with it and he's such a good thinker and he's mm-hmm. good at mechanicing and he's good at prepping he's bikes. Observant, isn't he? And he's he's not stupid. So I think I've just 
I'm I'm quiet. You're, you're, you're happy at your with it. Peace with it. Yeah, I'm yeah. at peace yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, and anything can happen to anybody, and anything can happen to anybody doing anything, can't they? Anywhere. So I've just got to try and make sure that we cross the eyes and dotted the T's. Mm. Is that it? How, how, is, how, <laughs> how old? How old is George? He's thirty now. So he's, yeah. he's, he's funny. He sent me a photograph five years ago. He was at um, near. Where did he go for a start? I can't think of the place. Not Blind. What? His first ride out when he went. Was it uh, Blind? Teesside. Oh, Teesside. He went to Teesside. Just sat in like Ginger Hall, by yeah. the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> His first ride yeah, on, the side, on the side of the yeah, road. Yeah, first. Andrew yeah, five years ago, like last week. And, and now he's. This year he finished third in British Championship. Mm -hmm. And he was, you know, doing really well. So. And he finished really well in his first year at BSB, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Really yeah. high up there. He's got lots of potential, hasn't he? He's fast. He's faster than me. Ooh. He is, definitely. Now, that's quite a statement. Now, bear in mind, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, uh, John Holden cable Jubilee clips himself to a sidecar to open the throttle. And he thinks, I don't remember these things, <laughs> but that, yeah. I have seen you do it. It is just like, like bear in mind, he gets he gets in his smarty tube, <laughs> <laughs> which is <laughs> a screaming missile of a motorcycle. And he just... Wear your gloves. Now, bear in mind, like, sidecar racers and passengers, you wear, you're wear, you not wearing, like, knuckled, heavy-up no. gloves. You know, there's not... A, they're like motocross gloves. Such thin leather. It's yeah. all about feel. Well, if you Absolutely. look at my hand, Dom, it's, that's uh, Southern 100. They left that behind at the Southern. <laughs> right. So... Which corner? You go down the bomb hole and then up, up over Ooh. the hill. That's and um, Nigel Connell was crashing in front of me. He flipped it, didn't he? Yeah, he was... He was and I, I slowed down. Klaus Klaffenbot was at side of me. We, I were in second or third. And then um, Greg Lambert ran ran in the back of me and knocked me into the wall. And my hand's going down the wall and just about ripped that Push side of the wall. Yeah, that side. <laughs> so there's no knuckle left there. So the, it's up here somewhere, yeah. But he, of, they were going to amputate that. Yeah, they were going to take they? that off. I mean, It was but, pulling the pins out to go racing again. Went to... Pembury and I had these pins in. I couldn't get my glove on, so I said to my mate, here, yeah, let's get these out. So I got the pliers and whittled them a bit till they got them loose and then pulled the pins out and I shunted them really because I've ended up with yeah, you. But you did, you said it was a bit too soon, wasn't it? <laughs> I just love this sport. <laughs> did you have a swig of that before you did? Oh, no. <laughs> well, they, won, they were one a little bit loose because I've been messing with yeah. that. You know how you did, <laughs> like... Yeah. Hurry up and heal, hurry up like and heal. Like a scab, you're just picking yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, yeah. No, I wonder how far in that pin is. No, if I wiggle it, I can just... <laughs> but no, but it's a little bit like, you know, when you talk about like, adaptation, it's yeah. the fact that you, like, explain to people why you had to slip your hand. Like, obviously you got the injury, but explain why you had to put your hand in a jubilee in a, a jubilee no, clip it's, it's not actually a i didn't put my hand in the jubilee clip i put mm. it i put the jubilee clip around the For around the, the twist grip the, and yes. then had the tail around so i could because i didn't have much grip and your wrist and, and my wrist doesn't so i can push the the jubilee clip to put open the throttle open the throttle you see so i can <laughs> It's just fucking but, lunatic. But it's clown. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? But as, the daft thing is, though, that you can't bend your elbow backwards and I can't move my hand and it's just normal now. You don't think about you it. Don't think about it. That, I haven't thought about that all day. It's just, but it's worth saying as well. You used to drop pints, though, But I still can, drop things, yeah. Well, that's your expensive. Hand, like it a, is. A twitch, your yeah. handlebars aren't in a conventional way, are no, they? Your handlebars are pretty there. much drop bars. Yeah. Vertical, yeah. They're like that, so... My wrist won't go any further than that, so see that it's so I end up end up rolling the throttle. Imagine that's that's like the throttle. Mm. I end up rolling my hand around the throttle to open. Right. So you know even I mean? now, that's the setup you've got yeah. with that. Some, but but just recently with this flyby wire, there's a two mil inch of throttle now. <laughs> it's <laughs> foot that is two well, inch I, of like no, sorry, two mil of full throttle and not for John. Well, that don't help, Don. I've tried all this because <laughs> tried short throw, quick action. You can't. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> sorry, I'm still talking throttle. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't feed it in. Then it's either on or off, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that doesn't work. Do you know, no, no, not. Do no. I mean, you need to be able to feed it in. So and when you think you're up. full throttle and you're looking at the data and it's like, no, you're only on ninety. <laughs> Ah, the same really? kind of thing then that's when you really need needed so what i just talking of that so what i do then on fly by wire i can have it at, when it's at 90 percent throttle it's actually 100. 100 yeah 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 and I, I don't know whether you you guys do that 
with your fly-by-wire buddy. So, well, sometimes a superbike lads. I remember the last conversation God love my had with Chrissy at Donington was he was struggling to get out of the Melbourne Loop. And he said, every time I come out of the Loop, the thing just wheelies. It's wheeling all the time. Mm. And he said, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what we're going to do. And we had a, like a conversation. And then he'd had a conversation with someone else. And that's what they'd done. They'd, they'd said, well, when you get to 50%, rather than it putting in 50% power, we'll just put it, so yeah. it puts 30% power yeah. in, and yeah. we'll go the opposite yeah. way, yeah, just opposite to soften way. it yeah. out, and then... <clears throat> but at TT, when you want 100% throttle, and you guys, and you're going like that, and you're knocking it back 95, you can have it, so mm. it doesn't. Yeah. So it is at hundred percent. Even if you, it won't make any difference to how you ride, it's like yeah. Well, no, yeah. it's no, no. It's you know, it's like you know, and we're involved in the game, but the things that you learn all the time. It's just. It, but you've it, still got is, all the feel at the bottom. Yeah, you've yeah. got the everything important there. Feel that you need that, at the bottom. That, don't matter feed. that yeah. that last. Yeah. Even ten percent right at the top, yeah, yeah. and in, and you can have it gear dependent. So. It, when when you're like giving it that, you're not. It's still. Yeah. Wound up as if you're holding that throttle, and it's hands oh. off to you guys on the Thank handlebars. You. I looked at my dad once, and I, and I was nearly sick. I thought, I'm not looking at you again. Just trying to control those handlebars. It's, it's, it's insane handled. for you. Or uh, is it one of those where the more relaxed you are, the easier yeah, I'm not. To stay I'm at. not so bad with arm pump. It's really hips, I think, because you sat there. Mm. Okay. We've talked a lot, Isle of Man, haven't we? But it's the it's the hips. You sat there mm. for a. The, for an hour without being able to move that, at all. That's what I mean. Like, you know what, we we talked about it briefly, but it like that the physical abuse in that like yes, solos, yeah, yeah, you're getting tired, the the muscles ache, but mm. I'm talking about physical battering. Yeah. Now, one of the best things that have happened in the TD, and it's only been around five, six years maybe, is the physio team. So yeah. Yeah. They're all, physio they are team, all, yeah. physio team. We see each other. They, 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 they are volunteers. They yeah. are a hundred percent volunteers. They give up their holiday their annual <laughs> holiday. Yeah. to come over to the Alman. There's no support over. from the government, no. as far as I believe. You know, there's no actual, you know, imp like infrastructural money going, right, you need this. And I tell you what, there would be an uproar. The imagine one. if all of yeah. us turned up and went, if it was oh, sorry, you actually, there has... Or something. Well, no, but like, imagine now if they went, look, we actually haven't got a physio off yeah. here. You'd be like, the panic. If, yeah, mm. and physio like, everything. You need to be relaxed, don't you? You've mm. got everything relaxed and everything free and all your toxins out so you can go again. But the... the and Don't they help you your, mentally as well, don't yeah. they? Oh, absolutely. They can de stress you. Yeah. yeah. Besides what they're doing. From nine o'clock in the morning mm. through to the end of practice that night. And oh, they, they work Fantastic. such long hours. But you're talking they're about fabulous. That. I'm always surprised at how many people don't utilize that surface. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I, don't I had that. a sports massage before I came here. Yeah. And I like, I, I, because I have a bloke who comes to my house and I try and religiously have him. Yeah. It's just a service, isn't it? Yeah. You just get keep on top so, of it. Yeah, and you, so, you service your bike. You see, yeah, you yeah. Need exactly. Your body, you know, yeah. part, isn't it? But the, you're like, part of the machine. But the amount of people that just go, oh, I'm not going in there. So what? Well, and you just think, go and spend an hour. Mm. These yeah. guys know exactly what they're doing. They're, they do. And like you say, your state of mind. Just take that little niggle away. Yeah. Just remove that. It's. I think it's an amazing service. But like every every sport is like stepped up that hard now. It's like you know I, I go see Aidan Robinson ITRM and you know you've got there's so many there's no room for amateurs in sport anymore. Mm -hmm. I remember reading that a couple of years ago and it's 100 percent right. You know everyone's got physios, coaching, yeah. mind, everything. You know like there is the level you can't just. I tell you what, I'm gonna ask that question. You've got to have somewhere to start though. Without mm -hmm. those people starting, you haven't got a race, mm -hmm. have you? Now You've got you to have the people on the grid. Mm. I, like honestly, I don't think the results would be there. Like you see, you know, your Hickman, your Dean Harrison, you using these services, mm. and I think you're sharpening the you're knife, fine tuning your yeah. body. But when, but like all joking aside, when you see you sidecar lot coming in, it's a different, it's a different same meaty marshmallow as we all are, but you are pounded in a total yeah. different manner. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's phenomenal. And like this, like I've, I cannot big up this service enough because if you're, you had your injury in 2018 and I see you in there still, you know, and they still look after you. And like, yeah, they the, do, don't they? Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're feeling like, a bit... Big family. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I mean. And yeah. they're like, just because you're not racing doesn't mean you're not part of the sport. No, and it's like, no. oh, that's real. get yourself it. It's, yeah. that, that's what this sport gives you. You know, people are so... And me and Joe have had like loads of conversations off air, and mm. it, it, it can almost be very quickly forgotten about. And yeah. Joe's a massive advocate of keeping people talking, you know, people talking to each other. And yeah. it's Joe who's reminding us of that. And it's and I think the Isle of Man's almost a concentrated fashion mm. yeah. off that. Yeah. Just something I me and Chrissy used to talk about a lot was the 
and not to get all deep and meaningful, but like the mental health side of stuff, it, it it's now acceptable to say I'm not in a very good place. Yeah, it's only recently, really. In yeah, the last yeah. few years yeah. to be able to. The yeah. problem is, is there's always someone who almost discredits it by saying something ridiculous where you, you do feel daft saying something. Mm. But the fact is that what racers go through is when it's shit, it is so yeah, shit, isn't it? And like the 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 places you'll have been, which in turn takes you there, doesn't mm. it? Because you say yeah. you, you've watched to go through all of that and yeah. you have to go through it with it. As a, it's, it's horrific and you've got to have people to lean on and talk to and it's got to be acceptable, hasn't it? You know, me and John, I've spoke about it a million times before, but me and McGuinness, you, when we, he did his leg at the Northwest was mm. when I did my back right. at the TT and we helped each other through yeah. that really shit time. And like John said, he said there weren't many people there for me when that no. was going on. You find new friends, but don't you? That he became a very good mate of mine as a result of that, and just having somebody to yeah. talk to who it was relatable, who understood at yeah. two a.m. Mm. why I'm laid there feeling yeah. guilty and fuck it, you know, it's, yeah, and it's horrendous. Pain can, and... can we go back to that? Like you meet new friends. Like, uh, can we talk about that? That's a great way of looking at it, actually. Like, I no, think, no, like you know, I, Fiona's like. I, I think mm. you see them the the true colours of the people that have got your back, yeah. don't you? That's yeah, the difference. you do. And you learn things about people that you didn't previously <clears throat> know about. Mm. And so, mm. yeah, you might have already been friends with people, but you have a deeper understanding and a deeper, more personalised friendship because of shared experiences to one extent or another. Yeah. Um, yeah. But also, how, how good is it when you something, a message pops up on your phone and somebody's asking how you are and you you think i didn't expect them to be asking how i am and yeah, yeah. How, yeah. how good's yeah. that do you know what yeah. i mean it's like yeah it's okay and then some not... people you do expect to be yeah you don't hear from them now whether they don't want to be i, I, I got a really yeah, this... nice message and a video message off steve mercer yeah in 2017 oh, wow. right and steve that was exactly that thing where i was like fucking hell why yeah why is he messaging you know yeah. And then, as you say, the, the negative side yeah. of it is the people that you would expect to be turned up at your door with mm. lasagna made or whatever, they're, they're not there. Are no, they? whether they think, think right, yeah. whether they think that we're all right and we'll be all right, yeah, and yeah, they don't need to bother so much. Do you know what I mean? They, because we're tough racers and we'll yeah. just get on with it. And I think... But that, yeah. that, that's the difficult dynamic because, you know, beforehand we were talking about your crash and then you're like, right, you're trusting the people around you, yeah. saying, and you're saying, you know, my wife's all right. Yeah. And you've put trust in them to go do your job again. And then you would have been upset if he stopped. And then mm. we're talking a higher breed of psycho and we're all in that bracket, mm. you know. But then you get that label, don't you? You think, well, look how tough, you know, people would have heard that yeah, story and gone, so how, dumb, yeah. how tough are these two? Never mind the marriage. Mm. You know, that's the thing, you know, you're both together and you've gone through that without questioning. But then you have, you have the bumps, you have the falls and then it's, it's amazing how you can go from... Was it hard for you as well? Once I knew how, how badly she was, then yeah. Because hmm. then I'm, I'm like having a battle in my head. Should I be... Should I go home? Should I do this? Should I? What do I do? Do you know what I mean? And luckily, yeah. you you were happy for know. me just to carry I on, didn't, right? Didn't you? know. I didn't know anything but... about it. So you said what you needed to say. <laughs> Have you ever considered what a normal marriage would be like? Is that, is no, we don't want one. Of them, <laughs> How could we have a normal marriage with Steve? With this flip flop, <laughs> we've talked a little, well, quite a bit about crashing, and I don't think we should spend the evening. No, no, no. no can we talk no. about one more crash? No, I want to talk about one more crash. <laughs> one yeah. more crash. Just one more. Your last crash. Oh no, that, no, no. Yeah. Let me let me talk about 2012. Go when for you it. borrowed our spare engine. Yeah. So I won it in 2011. Were well, you married at this point? 2012. No. We weren't married, no. No, no, no we weren't. No. <laughs> so I'd won it in, in 2000, we together. yeah, 2011. <laughs> and I thought, ah, we need to go with something different. I were running Suzuki's at the time, GSX 600 Suzuki's. And I thought, right, I'm going to put Kawasaki in because the ZX6 were like the thing on the short circuits. I'm going to put one of them in. Well, I, over the winter, I, I put a Kawasaki in, and every time I set off, it just blew up. Mm -hmm. And I think it was how it, how it was in the bike. The clutch on a Kawasaki 600 is fairly low. Mm. And I think it was just aerating the oil. 
Whereas on the Suzuki, the clutch is higher up and it, it, the clutch wasn't whipping the oil up. Because was that a, um, a, a flat sump? A yeah, so up? we have to have a flat sump. Yeah, so you take away the sump so the take oil's separate. Take away the sump so like, the clutch is low down and it will just... Yeah. So I've gone all the way through practice on our first race. It it blew up. I got to Braddon Bridge and I had a rubbish on the TT. Yeah, yeah. You brought down every time you went out, basically, didn't you? But one of my friends had a had an LCR like mine and he was running Suzuki. So we we rung up to get all his running gear, everything shipped over, which we did. This was after so we raced on the Saturday and then by Monday night for practice, because we had a Monday practice before we raced on Wednesday, I got the Suzuki, your dad Suzuki. I was spare stock. So stock I borrowed that engine. borrowed Tony and Fee's engine and never off went we went so, with never Suzuki. Went so fast. <laughs> So, set off like a bullet a gate, and uh, Molly knew were the the big thing at the time, and I caught him by uh, by Ramsey. Went up Waterworks two, just clipped the banking, because they, they put rector cell just, and it just gathered up and spit me right into the into the wall there, on didn't the it? Left-hand side, yeah. So I, I crashed. Mm. And I'm led, I'm led in the road, and Andy went passenger, and I'm led there. And I says, "We had it though, didn't we, Wink?" <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't all that you said. What else did you say? What, what did Wink say? Oh, we're getting the bike ready. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm not saying... We had a Wink. <laughs> <laughs> that is I'd, that's I'd, amazing. I'd bust my hip. I'd punch in my lung. Brought some ribs. Brought your collarbone. Yeah, because that's what you Yeah, I brought it. my collarbone. <laughs> Still had space for that. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> we had him wink, didn't we? <laughs> <'Cause> what, <laughs> and what else did you say about the... Get it ready for Wednesday, we'll be right. <laughs> we'll be out for Wednesday. <laughs> no. no. So... But the same, we'd worked out the same time that you had your crash. Yeah, Dad and exactly. I hit, Dad, Dad and I hit ball off bridge. Never. Yeah. Yeah. With the chair wheel and put a right angle in the chair wheel. Almost, it must have been similar, very so similar yeah, time. In weird, the day. it was so weird because as we mm. pulled up on the side, we can hear all the marshals' radios, and I could hear what was happening to John. Really, up there, um, up, as we just we just pulled in, yeah. So, so, so it was yeah, my turn. Was... It was my turn to race back to down, get back down into the pad and off into hospital in my leathers and <laughs> to come and see how you were. And then another funny side of it, the. Uh, they put you on the stretcher in the helicopter, take you to Nobles, and I'm led there. And there's this woman, this nurse, like saying something. I couldn't hear, not I couldn't. I thought I'd lost my hearing, but I would still got my ear plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> that neck brace thing. <laughs> <laughs> what you saying, Pet? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Absolutely. So, what, what year was your first TT win? Uh, Eleven. What was your first podium? Six. What was a bigger achievement? The podium. We, yeah, when I first got on podium, I never, couldn't believe that. That's what. Yeah, I got on the podium, and I've had twenty three, twenty three podiums and two wins. So we've had a good run at it so far. And like that, that, that that's always been a question I've always been curious about because I can just imagine getting on the podium for the yeah. first time would be bought. Well, yeah, that, was it better than winning? But then obviously winnings. The, the, you yeah, tell me. When, when you stood there and on top step and they play national anthem and you're looking at that control tower and that that summit and it the ultimate feeling. Yeah. How do you are you? Is there any apprehension about going back? Mm. Or it, it, it? I mean, it's not something that obviously uh, you wouldn't be doing it if you didn't feel completely no, committed to it. I I just know that probably this year we're not going with something that's competitive right. enough to be challenging for. a top step or right. a podium do you know what I mean but we'll you've got to keep this you know, but it's keeping good. the class alive yeah. aren't you you bring in a, another an added dimension to it and a new untested as it were chassis at the Isle at the TT they're allowing a wider range of engines into the TT as well so you were saying earlier you're going keeping to the numbers up as well no no this year <laughs> We're on somewhat completely on a on a on a KTM. Oh, yeah. Now Dave Molyneux was running it last year, and I think he'd done hundred and fourteen or something. So it's he would have, yeah, yeah. It's not 
it's not too far off where it should be, but um, it, it'll be different. And it'll be different for me because its characteristics will be so different. But it's good. I think it's good for the sport. It's a new new chassis manufacturer. It isn't a new engine, but it's still newish that nobody's, you know, well, there's only Dave that's that's done anything with it. So see, Dave, Dave is like a very the best one of the many good things about like sidecar racing is everything is bespoke. Mm. Everything. There's no two sidecars the same. And like even to put that comparison, like what even what Boris is doing by supplying them, a average outfit is. 40 50 grand yeah is that a fair yeah you'd, you'd, price tag on that side of things if you to build what ben and tom had you're probably talking near the 80 90 easy mm. now I, this is like going to lead me on to my next point because i remember seeing the birchill like car and they put a different bearing house in for a different linkage yeah. system to allow it to pivot more to turn now when they took that chassis that they built themselves and took it to short circuits they were like on the f2 putting in some serious times against mm. the f1s weren't mm. they and you thought this thing is going to be yeah like this is the next level <clears throat> and now when they went and cracked the 120 mile an hour yeah. did they do that on that new chassis yeah but it was it wasn't it wasn't that dual chain uh, they, right they backed off a bit to where so they went back to a single chain yeah which is interesting now because when you, you've got a pivot point now if you look at any motorcycle mm. yeah you, you, your sprockets by your pivot point so when you get flex it's not losing drive but when you get it takes two motorcycle chains regular chains mm. to make one sidecar so when you're going through like heavy compression zones like mm. bottom of bray hill like bottom of Bagaro, bottom of, like, bleeding everywhere around the TD circuit. That stretch, mm. and when that's happening, you can't turn. Is that right? No. But you haven't got no. the same length of travel that you that you would have on a solo, have you? No, you've only got maybe 20 mil on, on a travel. Mm. But the main reason why they were running that chain like that, as far as I understand it, and I might yeah. be wrong, they tilted the engine which lifted the engine sprocket up. Well the so they were lowering, lowering the centre of gravity, and that's what they've done. They've, they've kept the there. engine over. Yeah, yeah. And that, but by doing that, it lifts the chain up. So if you to run the, the chain from there to the back wheel, it it would it'd just be wrong. So they really run it to a separate... And then bear it out from there right. to the back wheel. That was the, the theory behind it, as mm. far as I understand. I might yeah. be wrong, but... Because who was, mm. there's only two teams at the moment done 120 mile an hour. Is that yeah. the Founds lads? Yeah. 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 Pete. Pete. Now, Pete had done it on more of a normal bike, which in in real terms, I think was a greater achievement than what Ben and Tom did. Well, not, I'm not saying take that away no, from Ben. No, no, far right. from it. And I don't mean it wasn't no. No, 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 to no, do no. that. All respect, but yeah. But big respect to Pete. Well, it was a board, it was a board bike. Yeah, it, because like LCR, the 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 Birchers have that, don't they? Now, yeah. so obviously they're keeping their part, keeping the sport alive by having, yeah. you know, bringing a product to the market. But when you think the founders have bought a bike, but it just, you know, the the chicken and egg situation in that regard, it's a bit like we are all sheep. It's a bit like we've sat down and seen right they can do 120 mm. mile an hour in a sidecar. It was only about time someone went and did it again, and you're thinking. It's but, like your 130 mile an hour laps, isn't it? You know, it's all, all your time. 135. Like, yeah, well, that's what I mean. 135s, 136s. It's just that that's the progression, yeah. the evolution yeah. of it. But I, th but, there's, a, there's a big problem with it, though, Dom. Go for it. Because the driver and the, the bike might be able to do it, and one or two passengers can do it. That's interesting. But then. If you to try and sign a passenger up now to go and do 120, there's there's not many can do that. Because really? those that are doing that speed have been together as teams yeah, for yeah. years and have built up together. Mm. So Ben and Tom, uh, Pete and Jev, the the Crow brothers, they might get there. Do you know what I mean? So mm. until until I was, I was they're ask very what impressive your are on those because obviously they're like the young ones, aren't yeah, they? And it's, it's mega to see they're, the they're, young talent. And they've been around the pallet the whole life. Yeah, they're not they're, they're, yeah. Well, they're, yeah. they're well, they've got good stock. Yeah, 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 good they stock. And they've, got, stock yeah. they've got good backing. Yeah. And they're developing the bike similar to what Ben and Tom. I think they've had their engine laid down, and so they're moving along with the times. But whether it's right or not for the class, I don't know. Interesting. 
What do you think caused the decline in numbers, in your opinion? Mm. Because right. I remember as a kid watching Mick Boddis, with like mm. my, my dad did a little bit of sidecar in when before I was born. And we always used to like, you know, if it was the the last race of the support, we as a family, we would always stay for the sidecars. Yeah. And like that was, I, I remember the grids were always, apt, yeah. they were massive, weren't they? Yeah. What happened? I think the root of all evil <laughs> is when they split, split the class up. They made right. F2s, formed the 2s, and there was F1s. So all of a sudden, there's, there's two classes then and there's only a limited number of mm. of sidecar people yeah. so that that didn't help but then if just talking the tt if the quick lads are doing 120 ish people to qualify they struggle to qualify mm. that means because of the safety be, isn't it because of the speeds they, the they can't faster, yeah they the can't do doing. the 100 and five percent or whatever i can't i don't know whether i think 107 percent of third place yeah. so if you if you think well if you're going to go there i'm never going to qualify yeah you won't go will you yeah where are you in the birchills and the founds lapping in three laps lapping no no we're not no interesting not, How? With, not with third i don't know what what the what the cutoff would be as mm. far as we don't want you to lap people, so we'll allow so many. On well, the that, I don't know what, well, what figure it is, Don, but... For that, you guys, the, the lapping is even more of a hazard than for the solos. Yeah. Because you... The pace difference. Well, oh, it, the, the pace the road, difference, the, 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 the difficulty to pass, and yeah. if you're being held up, and the bloke who's and 30 seconds train, behind you yeah. don't get held up, is that fair that you've been stuck behind yeah. somebody <laughs> and... And it's I not like you can just put a dive pass in there, no. is it? It's, but... This is the difficulty of the event because, you know, get arguably we were talking at the beginning of this like interview was the rawness, you know, and the fact of like having the slower element mm. was part of the time trial itself because when you think the last man off the grid, you've got them coming off the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You think you've actually got to incorporate Shouldn't that in your it. lap. But then the event's got to adapt in the safety element. Absolutely. Yes. But me, Absolutely. But me question, like how, f this is spitball in mind. Banging out 120 mile an hour laps. How far do you think they're off lapping? Well, every like you know, you know, yeah. like for the last lad in 30 odd. You know, I'm just, I'm mm. just, I'm thinking how many numbers. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. How many there could be? 10 seconds a mile an hour into ish. Hmm. So if they're doing 120 and somebody's doing 100, so it's. God, we, we need yeah, Chrissy we need, more than ever yeah, right we need, now. We need, we need a school mate, teacher. Please, please, mate, mate, Chrissy, come like, on. My bang on the head doesn't... Well, there is a calculation that I'm sure yeah. you could get more than 30 on. But I think because they can't qualify, they're not going to don't bother coming. Yeah. It's a dream to get your first 100 mile an hour out, but it's just... And it's not easy, that. Special. It's not no. easy. No. But will that in turn be potentially the death of the psycho? No, no, I tell you no, what, it's, 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 I hope not. Like, see, I'm a, I'm a sidecar fan. Yeah. You can blame your mother for that. But how does and it... I don't... I, I... I think everybody is a spectator is a fan of the sidecar because mm. it's just nuts to watch. <laughs> but you just it... think that shouldn't be doing that with two humans strapped to it. But it's not Sorry, good for the strapped. TT with 30 <laughs> <You are>. Unstrapped, <laughs> unhinged. Clinging on for, for you know, no. it, it, it is a spectacle to watch. It's not it... good for us, just 30 bikes going on. No. And then five drop out of the... 20, 25 bikes, Finish. and the, the mm -hmm. spectators are waiting for a few bikes to go by. And once the quick lads have gone through, then it's a bit of a, a it's not good for the. Well, this is the thing. The, spe the, the, the spectacle, the sport, the sport, the sport no. isn't made up on the top 10, is it? No, if, no. If, <clears> if in the solos, the remaining 60 guys said, well, Bucky, we're not coming, yeah. then it's going to be as successful as the TT mm. Zero thing yeah. because nobody wants to watch that and then sit to no. it on the thumbs, do they? No. It's no. we, so what we've got to get it's away from. Yeah. I think, well, there's going to be a working party. What What's going to happen with the sidecars? How are we going to, what are we going yeah. to do to make it because more everybody attractive? Everybody wants it to thrive. Yeah, yeah. everybody. We're going to make yeah. it more accessible and yeah. make it where people then, think, I can go and I am going to qualify and if yeah. I don't qualify, then I'm at least going to get 
Because like even with the solo numbers, it's like it's getting reduced. You know, I think that's more the lapping element, and yeah. I understand that why because of the safety aspect. And if they don't, if if they don't bring something to the table and say, yeah. how can you improve this event? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, they are. Let's run the event. It has to adapt to do that. But I think with a sidecar and even a little bit on the solo side, it is the qualifying thing. And if people are going to spend that money on a on an average outfit of forty mm. grand. Mm. To come to the TT, and the, it's a lot of money to get yourself. And do you, think spon- you could do like a, a bit of an incentive through the the paddock in the British Championship and through stuff that's going on in Europe, and you know, actively not recruits, maybe not the right word, but do you think there could be something that could be done? To, I think, to, think there is, yeah, there? definitely, but. It's something I've, you've always, you've got to. You've got to do I know, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everyone's a roads person. It's not like saying, "Oh, come and come and have a go at Spa." Or, and you don't have, have to be. <laughs> no, I've suggested that maybe there could be two classes. So if you've got like your, I don't know what word you could call it. Your elite like class, a, like elite, a, elite, like elite. Super, super, supers and, and, yeah. and stock. And start, yeah, and I think mm. we should introduce a stock class. Yeah. That. They they run they have their own not own race but within a race that yeah you don't, like call it, you don't want to call yeah. it elite do yeah. you it's no no it's, it's two but two categories two no, in, yeah, in, in, in the, the British yeah. in the British F two they've supers and yeah. what do they call it for you? supers and cup and cup yeah 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 so that people with stock stuff they know they can go there and they like can when they qualify. have the three fifties running yeah you know because sorry the thing is when you're sat in the hedge and something comes past you. At 110 mile an hour, or it comes mm. past 150 mile an hour. When you sat in the edge, it don't matter. No, <laughs> no. You, no. you're still thinking, "Fucking yeah. hell, that's tramming." Yeah. So, like at the southern, sorry, you still like, have a spectacle yeah, there. At the southern, they have some mixed solo classes, don't mm. they? At the mm. southern, and it and and you get them mixing with each other, don't yeah, you? Oh, oh, that's that class, and that's that class. They're they're dicing with each other. Are the sidecar numbers more at the seven hundred? Than the TT, or is it quite similar? Um, because I think they're are, as far as United they're Kingdom's concerned, they're the only Southern. road Oliver's yeah. Mount. Mm. Sorry, you've got Oliver's yeah. Mount, Southern, and the TT. Mm. Is that all in, in, in the, the UK? In the UK, yeah. in the UK. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. It's quite yeah. a it's a niche element to it. I don't yeah. think the Southern One Hundred suffer with not having no. the numbers, no. which is great to hear. Yeah. yeah, but you go to like Shimmer. And you have got mixed side cars out on the track mm. at the same time mm. in the same race, but they've got the F one. They just yeah, need yeah. they just need podium to and the F two podium, don't they? Look at the times and allow enough bikes on the on the grid to so that the quick lads aren't having Hin- to lap yeah, somebody. Yeah, pinged. Yeah, because mm. everyone's there giving the hundred percent. Just but they're yeah, gonna have to do something. Might be different to someone else's hundred percent. Maybe you saw the lads think different because I don't know how much you're spending on on a super bike or or a super stock. You know, I I don't know how much you're spending on something like that to get something competitive. Twenty five, twenty five. No, 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 no. Like a a, a, fo- a fire blade now, where everyone's going fire blades, you need forty grand, forty two grand to get the bike. Mm. Never mind the package and everything like that. So the, the just to get on the grid, no, no to compete, just to get the bike, just to get the bike. Yeah, in stock thousand, you can spend a lot less. You know, but that's a competitive bike. You know, yeah. in stock thousand. I don't know. You you could buy you could buy, buy a, the championship winning bike from. The stock from British Superstock this year was twenty nine grand, and you right. got, that would be as competitive, in as my as opinion, as what you could wheel that out this year. It would be as competitive mm, as yeah. as next. So twenty well, for thirty grand, you couldn't buy an a competitive outfit. No, no. This sorry, this year I I just sold my bike and I had had three Yamaha engines, seven speed gearboxes. So, do you know what I mean like Jesus to be competitive? Christ. And I'm not the only one. The top four or five. Are, are all the same and I don't think that's we need to do something to make it accessible for everybody yeah, you to know, keep it alive to, to keep, keep it alive yeah. you can't have because even if you split that down the middle between you know you say you've got two best mates that are rider and passenger and they say right let's go in on this halves but even if even if you said we're yeah. going to go in on it halves it's you're still more than buying that stocker, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Each team is very different and very independent, but it's very rare that that is the case. Yeah, oh. it will be the case. But generally, in some instances, the man's staring, it's, it's the man that's the... footing the bill. Usually, yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Is but there enough numbers in the sidecar community full stop? Yes. To if fill you... the grids at TT? 
It, there's enough people racing. There's enough sidecars. people racing. Yeah. Sidecars. That's, that, yeah. Is, that's, yeah. that is good to hear because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you know, especially us yet again being biased road yeah. racing, we see that diminishing numbers. And you think that to us from the outside looking in is the reflection upon sidecars, period. If you that's how at, I look at it. If you look at mm-hmm. BMC, hmm. they, they have full grades with sidecars. Yeah. That's great to hear. Yeah. That is great to hear. But the problem is, Dom, that they're not all F2s, they're not all TT bikes. No. No, so that do you like, know what I mean? But it's good that you know it, it's, people are interested. Yeah. That's and the it. British F twos now. Yeah, the British, British F two grids are all full, and they're introducing. Well, sorry, not introducing. They've always had like the the supers and the and the cup, haven't mm. they? But am I right in thinking that? No, I'm getting mixed up with BSB now. But at BSB, they've got different categories of bike yeah. within the same race yeah. haven't they so they've you can have same, a little split it again and yeah well there's three classes and long and a, and a tuned long yeah it's good in that, the same race because like to be blunt you know like when you think about like the british superbike campaign you know it just shows how they've got their eye on the ball you know with mm. the sport in general because yeah. they could to be blunt they could easily get rid of any class yeah. mm. you know that could be the f9 yeah. stock 600 anything like that but they are keeping sidecars in yeah and unfortunately as joe puts it i'm putting you right on the spot here but it's like it is the sidecars unfortunately do get the stick at the meetings how do you lot take that so well oil on the track i don't mean it negatively because i'm saying it's me when it's raining when it's raining send the sidecars the sun's low send the sidecars you know what i mean you're like the front line of the french revolution send in the sidecars but if anyone generally speaking get on and do it anyone's gonna get the shit the end of the stick it's you guys usually yeah, yeah. and it. that's how I mean it I don't mean it in no, a negative way do, it's but just stating yeah. a, yeah. just stating a fact mm. when they're yeah. racing you know yeah. we're getting a chance to race we have oh, much we... option really we've no, no we've no wait to say well no sure, although we're not gonna come with BSB you... didn't you get you weren't the last race a lot no no that was quite a bit depends whether they want to get us out of way or not well, it depends how much oil they want to tidy up, doesn't it? <laughs> no, but it's 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 important that that the sport is still. I think yeah, it's still interesting. Like, mm. It's got to be interesting, hasn't oh, it? A hundred percent agree. A hundred percent agree. But I tell you what, this leads us perfectly on. So we've got a Patreon page, and without the patrons, the, the show wouldn't be wouldn't be going. Really, wouldn't be without the sponsors as well. But we've got the first question here from Paul Bennett to both of you. Favorite track section and why, with regards to free wheels over two. At the TT or anywhere? You know what? Anywhere. What's your fa- your favourite part of any circuit anywhere in the world? I'll, do you want me to go first? Yes, please. But the fact that you... My, my brain doesn't work that very well anymore. <laughs> you put me on the spot. I think short circuit, Alton Park, going up Clay Hill, that, that fast right, and then what's the, what's the next? Druids. Uh, look that fast, fast left, left and then, and and then into the... Yeah. So that's Druids. a magic section for the sidecar. <laughs> Be fast through there, yeah, it's guys, fast, isn't it? yeah. And then over over the little brown yeah. exit, yeah. yeah. That's and then the TT from from Ginger Hall to to Ramsey, without a doubt. I can't believe you. Like, are you? What about you, Fiora? Are you, you Ginger Hall? How the uh, fuck? Yeah. Top to bottom of Bagara. I like Ooh. that. Top to bottom of Bagara, and where Colin Buckley and Robin Robbie Shorter crashed just after Ginger Hall. Glen Tremont. No, before Glen Tremont. You come up. You've gone. Double left at Ginger Hall, and you go up and down yeah. before it's that left oh, into that's that right. That sounds it's pit- proper got proper, it's got its own little name. Come on, Robbie, you know what it is. Mm. What is that? That's my my one of my favourite bits because you're hard on the brakes, then you're straight off, and we get clattered over the curb, and then you're off round. But I would I would love to have raced at Spa. Oh. oh, Dad raced at Spa. Unfortunately, he <laughs> all together at Spa. now. Oh. Done it. Oh. Have you done it as well? I've run How it. nice is that? Oh, just, just, just like I'm, I'm, we, we, I'm sorry. Just the <laughs> absolute. Grit, in it. Grey should get commission, right? It's solely from us how many times we mention Spa. You know yeah. what I mean? Spa all... should be, yeah, Spa oh. should be ringing us in the bank. Yeah. Get Spa, if you're listening, get in touch with Grey. So you owe her a lot of money. Simple Point as that. Did, so you say last year was the first time you did it? Spa, yeah. So the, when you went, they'll have changed it quite a bit. They've moved a lot of the runoff back. Right, yeah. I did it yeah. for the first time in 2021, right. 2020. And there was, um, you come back down the hill through that real fast left-hander. Yeah. And there's all that runoff. Yeah, yeah. Then you do the right, oh. left, a little run into that right hander. Well, that next fast right, there used to be a little... By the karting track. That's down on the right, isn't it? Yeah. 
there used to be a building and with a gay blend, like yeah. basically where the white line was. And and I'd never really noticed it before. And then uh, one of the lads was like, look, it pushed me right off. I come around, there's a gay blend there. I'm like, I never even, never even twigged it. Never twigged it, but apparently they've moved that back. Right. And then out of a rouge onto the top there, yeah. where the catch fences are, he'd also said about, oh, it's like the fences are too near. The fences are too near. It's like, well, I don't know. I never even acknowledged it. So always, there's loads of runoff in there. Loads of they've, runoff. They've moved yeah. it back again now. They've spent a lot of money at Spa. Um, a lot of money. That's because we. Fabulous. That's because we keep pushing it forward on this show. That's why we're. Gonna, they're going to try. The, the, they're pushing because they want to try and get Grand Prix back there. Right. But I, I it's don't. The know. Most of it. It's a long way around, though, isn't it? It's beautiful. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, just outstanding place. Yeah. Did Red Bull as well that this year? That one, did you? Oh, yeah, that's something else. Yeah. That's I, fast, isn't it? I ran two laps round Spa, and then what we ran? Like run, ran it, ran it last it was a year. Thousand and then, miles, didn't you? Last and then year. I ran two lots of four laps at, at, at Red Bull Ring as well last year as part of my thousand mile run for the Walton Centre. Fair play. I, t- I tell you what, before we carry on with the Patreon questions, you're asking the next no, one. No, no, Patreon squad. No, 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 no. You two have climbed Everest. No, Let's no, just no, no, this. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. You don't. No, no. Bollocks. Bollocks. Here. You've no, climbed no, Everest. No, 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 no. We would have packed up the show and gone. I didn't tell everyone that they've climbed Everest. No, How we, we, we trekked to the bottom of Everest. We trekked base to base camp. camp Grace, just trek. edit that out. Edit that out. They climbed Everest. No. We'll just leave. What was that like? Well, best thing I've done. Really? Shut up, man. But, yeah. Uh, yeah but, Is that including racing? It's on a par. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. We're, I really, really enjoyed it. But, but five weeks early, about five weeks before we set off. <laughs> oh God, here we go. Um, John was involved in a racing incident at Ossisleben and ended up being in Magdeburg Hospital for a week. Ah. Now he broke his collarbone, <laughs> punctured his lung, broke five ribs, broke his foot, broke something in his hand. Five weeks before. Five yeah. weeks before. I He's lying there going, we nearly home. had him wink. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, you he, tra- you you trying to uh, discharge yourself out of hospital and the nurse is going... You leave, you die. You're pointing the because he didn't. He didn't I, weren't, I, weren't, I, weren't, I, weren't, I weren't going to have the chest training. Get a date with him. I, yeah. I need to go home. I want to go home. I've got an ox to take me up a hill. <laughs> <laughs> what do they use? Yaks. yaks. No, they don't. Is it yeah. yaks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and yak steak is amazing, <laughs> yeah. by the way. You don't yak eat steak. them. I thought you put your bags on them. No, I don't. You eat them afterwards. when they get a bit tired. <laughs> so, nurse. <laughs> I wanted to go. Doctor said no, no, and then nurse come in with this trolley with a, a screen on, and she's pointing. You go, you die. It's like, oh, I better stay then. <laughs> yeah, so a week trying to get better with his blinking yeah. chest drain, but they couldn't get the chest drain in right, could they? Blinking um, tube that they put inside you. Look at the scans; like the tubes that long that they put inside you. What, what's that? Like thirty Kept centimeters? A pr- yeah, a ruler. Got to be. It yeah. a ruler. Yeah, Honestly, that's I've got. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no, no. Howie. Way high course to do. It went in there. Yes. That is, literally looks like a ruler. Yeah, went the in sc- there. You know, for all your listeners, that's yeah. nipple height. Yeah. <laughs> he shaves his chest. Yeah, he's not uh, hairy. You're not hairy, are you? No, yeah. no. No wonder he's fast. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Slipstream. <laughs> so they, they put it in and uh, it, it were killing me. So I can't, I said to the doctor, I can't breathe properly. I said, right, we'll go on x-ray again. And they pushed it in too far, and it must have been touching my lungs. But something. what did they put you on to get it in? Oh, ketamine. They, yes. they did it with ketamine. I've done it again. I've got excited <laughs> about the ketamine thing. Fabulous. That, eh? <laughs> Fabulous. Best stuff in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Bet me no, and Tom. It, it's not. No, you <laughs> kids, it's not. It's yeah. not. Any children listening, it's not. <laughs> John's eyes totally glazed over him. Honestly, it's fabulous. Me, me and Tim Neve had this conversation, because the stuff is just unreal, talk, isn't it? Talk me through your ket experience. <laughs> well, the... They give you this ketamine, and then I went like in this box, like a psychedelic box, and uh, just, just do weird. what you want. Do what you want. Put one in there if you want. Yeah. You don't care, do you? you just they, uh, buy me flowers. Weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just kiss, kiss me first. They put this chest drain in, and and it was wrong. So then they take me down to theatre again. We're going to have to remove it, John. And and so they pulled it, and I said, "Are you giving me some more?" No, you'll be all right. Oh God. I nearly launched myself out of that bed and run home. And then it was wrong again. So the third time they give me some more ketamine and I'm spaced out again. <laughs> and they hadn't put it in far enough. And so the fourth time they got it right. 
Did they, did they have the apprentice on or something I like that? Yeah, well, they, we are blind doctors. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I, I really do not out. know. The doctor yeah. came back. He was really apologetic, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't. He could not not be. You no. know? <laughs> Same guy. We're doing it four times. Fourth yeah. time we got it right. You haven't got the cleaner, but, had you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like he says. <laughs> Doctor Strike at the time. Yeah. Can you just stab that in the holding? <laughs> so we come out. Of, finally, came out a, a week later, didn't yeah. I? And then we were in Magdeburg, and you you got a, a an Airbnb or something, hadn't you, to look after me? You mm-hmm. stayed. And then we wanted to come home, but the FIM, which is brilliant, there was insurance by the FIM to uh, patriation. You know yeah. what I mean? But it were going to be. A few days later, weren't it? I just wanted to. I had to get back to work. <laughs> just wanted to get home, so we ended up coming on coming home on train, didn't we? Yeah, on the Euro Tunnel. Euro Tunnel. A thousand US miles or so, whatever. Yeah, it thousand were, miles. Nine hundred ninety nine miles. From it was great to though. Door. I was there. <laughs> we thought we were going to have to take just you back you, into hospital. Just give you balls of morphine oh, to yeah. swing on your way. Oh. <laughs> and then you got yourself fit, fit and well. And, and then five five to... week. Yeah. And I thought I can't Clank do this. Debris. I can't can't do this. We're going to have to claim off insurance or something. So we got in touch with the insurance company. No, you're not covered because it was a motor racing accident. So you've no insurance. So we had the option, didn't we? We either go and try. Do what we can. And do what we can or or don't go and just waste our money. So we went, didn't we? We did it. If you died on a mountain, would they have paid out the insurance? You know, it wasn't a motorsport accident, but you're climbing an Everest. Yeah. But they have paid yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah, tell me you so. two didn't not look through the fine print. No, we'll well, still get a payout, darling. Fire races, we don't look through the fine print, oh. do we? I nearly <laughs> fell off a glacier. I bend my walking steak. And I and yeah, I got the runs for whatever reason. And we're up, there's no toilets, is there? No, when no, you're no. walking, just a yak. Just find find a boulder to so to go behind this blooming like everybody else behind this rock, this big rock. <laughs> And I'm there when the trolley's down and there's an helicopter flying past. like With the, with the people that are paying to fly up to sea. <laughs> there's John Olden's bare white ass screaming out to the rest of Everest. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It were good. But good we did it, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, we we did it uh, yeah. for fee to raise some money for the Walton mm. Centre. And that's been your driver, hasn't it, Fee? This, you... this last year, yeah. yeah. Would you like Which... to quickly explain what the Walton Centre is and what they do and... So, yeah, the Walton Centre is at Aintree Hospital where a lot of the TT riders, Manx riders, Southern riders... That's where I was. Yeah, if, unfortunately, Brilliant. if you're injured, you, you get sent there and there, the yeah. care that they give you, the... the um, um, sorry. The level of care that the they give you, is the yeah. professionalism is, is phenomenal. It's out of this world. And when I was... When I come round in, in hospital, I just knew I wanted to do something to say thank you, to show my gratitude, to just how appreciative I was of how I was treated in hospital and how I'd um, come out of it all right. Whereas other people, unfortunately, you know, God bless them all, haven't kind of thing. So I, I knew at one point when I was fitting well enough, I wanted to do something to say thank you to the Walton Centre. And five years on, that was the right time to do it. So I set myself a thousand miles running target in ten months. Um, um, I saw, um, I wrote as part of my recovery. I wrote um, a book charting my my journey of my recovery, and the proceeds of the book, um, I gave that to the Walton Centre. Been given that to the Walton Centre as well this year. And then a fortnight ago, at Quinton Stanley Football Club, were absolutely brilliant. They they put on a night with TT stars for us and we organise it together and the one of the trustees at Accrington Stanley Football Club David Burgess who just happened to be my first passenger John's at first passenger at the TT <laughs> class <clears throat> gave us the, the, the venue um, gratis and it was a fabulous place and we probably had 200 people we had 184 tickets that were sold and came to see if we had ian hutchinson mm. um jamie coward rob hodson ben birchall right. and cliff pritchard and clive, all, padgett. and clive padgett as well Fantastic. it was brilliant we had a couple of bikes there on display we had an auction we had a raffle i've not got a grand total yet um but we gifted with yeah i think from just one from that one night 
we've probably raised eight thousand. Wow. Oh, fantastic! And plus, over the year, plus we gifted it. Probably we gifted 10. it when we get when we get yeah. it to the when we we get the money from Accrington Stanley, and then with that, I, I'd already raised over the year probably four and a half thousand. So I'm hoping, hopefully, we've probably got about thirteen k. Oh, brilliant. Going. brilliant! And this is to the Sid Watkins Innovation Fund. Now, Sid, Go- mm. Sid Watkins, I don't know if you know, he was the Formula One uh, principal doctor. At Formula he used one. to drive around in the cars you know, and, the yeah, and like, with Senna and people like that. You know, on that, that first lap where you've got the safety car travelling behind them, he yeah, yeah. he was there. He worked on um, um, oh, well, Senna. Senna. He worked on Ayrton Senna. And Ratzenberger. And what he did, at the yes. Time. But he, he was a top neurosurgeon from Liverpool and um, he died in 2012, I think, but in his memory, they created the um, Sid Watkins building at the Walton Centre, and that's where families who um, can come and where their loved ones have ended up at the Walton Centre, they can stay there for a couple of days just whilst they find the bearings. My and... missus got to stay in that, yeah. yeah. They're, and they're brilliant, yes. and they don't take anything off you. They no, say if you no. can if you can donate something <clears throat> back, then... Yeah. Yes, yeah. You know, but yeah, they, 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 like, encourage... With my missus, they would just say, look, it's fine, it's fine, you've yeah. got somewhere to stay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which it is, is. So they've got the Sid Watkins building and they've got the Sid Watkins Innovation Fund. And um they're unfortunately all the te- the the Sid Watkins Innovation Fund, it is there as as the title suggests, it's there to to raise money for in- new innovative technologies to improve people's recovery and people's operations and people's quality of life and people's chances of survival from lots of neurological, you know, um conditions whether mm. it's strokes accidents um um brain injuries or whatever brain, yeah. brain injuries no whatever and you know they're constantly raising money and so what? this time the money that we've been raising um is to go and help fund um optical coherence tomography machine and that is um i know it sounds like gobbledygook and i've just spat that out without it meaning it was very convincing to be honest i'm 100 percent on for the ride here i'm like i I know i'm I'm with you keep going it's um (laughs) it's um a machine that um looks at conditions affecting the the eye the optical nerve and the brain wow all right so that money we're going towards that one yeah to have that um and there's all there's not many of those machines in the whole of the country brilliant so, so yeah. like I, t- I tell you what, like uh, Chrissy, and, Chrissy and Grace will hate me for not like massive. Like, just want to help people, but this show will be going out uh, next week, I believe. So we've had the Rory Skinner one on, but people listening to this now, how can they donate to this right now? You know, what is the best way to get involved in this? I've still got um, my fundraising page, and it's on the the Walton Centre Charity dot org dot uk. So it's all, all one word, the, the waltoncentercharity.org.uk. In the search bar, if you type Fiona Baker Holden, then, or fundraisers, mm. Fiona Baker Holden, this beautiful picture, better one of me, <laughs> I'll, I'll come up and then it'll be like my story and then you can click on donate and that will be much appreciated. Thank you very no, much. Fa- no, thank you a lot for doing all that. That You know, all this thing takes time and effort and everything that you've been through. Not well done, yeah, the pair of you. It took a bit of time, you. didn't it, yeah, that, yeah. that fundraising? yeah. But the people who who went to the of the evening and the people who've been there, you know, like Uchi and everybody, they were fantastic. They were, it yeah. was a, a rapturous evening. It yeah. was brilliant. Oh, I like it that. It was a great rapturous. evening. With pie and it peas was, as well. The pie oh. and peas supper. It Can't was go wrong. With a portion of pie was, and peas. <laughs> Can't go wrong. It no. was great, weren't it? Absolutely it brilliant. Was. Absolutely brilliant, guys. But please, you know, for everyone listening, you know, please get involved. You know, please you yeah, know, donate. Yeah, you can there's just no, put a bit no... in. It's a yeah. good one, yeah. No, fantastic. It's about it's about sticking together in all uh, everything in that regard, isn't it? So I'm trying to think. My next page, what have you got? Can you pick to be a page honest with you, I had a read through the patrons and we've covered pretty, oh. pretty, 
pretty Fun. much everything in maybe, there. Maybe it's a little chance to just uh, wet the whistle. Yeah, we could have a little drinky oh, poos, couldn't see, we? Oh, see, this is a bit... I'll tell you what, while, while Joe's pouring, right? Look, before we get pouring, this, you, you, are, pouring. you are pouring. So hold on, before we go it down is. that route, but honestly, thank you so much, Paul. Uh, Paul Bennett, Alex Chapman. Alex Chapman got two questions in there. I love that. You know, there's a very good one about... See, like you say, we cover everything in that regard. Um, but cracking questions, Alex. Uh, Mark Bates, we've got Jason Fortestrada. He, now, he, he'll he get to photos via the uh, BSB this year. I'm telling you now, he's uh, he's quite handy on the clicks. Sam Higginson, we've got Alex Chapman. Another one from Paul. He's obviously a massive fan, but he's a nice compliment for you. We've got uh, Mark Betts. I have massive respect for all racers, in particular sidecar drivers, and for the show that they put on at the... Sorry for the show he has put on, particularly at the TT. So they are. Thank that's you. that's a shout from my Mark. pleasure. They they <laughs> are absolutely fantastic. But now, right here we go. In, in to, thank you, obviously, all our patrons and sponsors. But the time is now to explain the well Jesus, what we've got here. Gin, it's gin o'clock. <laughs> it's gin o'clock. It's um, it's a it's a Thursday morning. Um, <laughs> Don't worry, we're don't, not driving. Don't do it in one. Just sip it and yes, then get the aftertaste. Right. I've not said that because I was going to have Don't, don't just no, neck no, no. it. Right, no, before before we start drinking gin, can we explain the, the story behind this? Because we've be, been putting... This should be the bit on the side, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's talk why we're seeing that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're all married, yeah. <laughs> we're going to explain this one. Where we're gonna... <laughs> a motorbike is a motorbike, but a sidecar is a motorbike with a bit on the side. <laughs> Brilliant name for a gin. So I'm, yeah, so you're going to call and me gin, right? So your little Twitter feed or whatever you call it, your hashtag is likes a bit on the side, as in he needs, needs, needs a passenger because he's the driver. You need a bit on the side, don't you? Everybody Absolutely. needs a bit on the side. But that didn't go down well with you at the beginning, did it? No, I was all right with it. I'm yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's another one of those. You remember it differently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but have you got someone designing a label? Not yet. Right, right, perfect. Now, because you're both on, you're both on Twitter. You're yeah. both. On, are you on Instagram as well? Yeah, Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Right, please, please, any artists who want to come up with a, a logo, is yeah, that a yeah. fair comment to say? Yeah, like, yeah. If, we're if have there's... a Fijes, like Fiona and John Fijes, and we're going to call our gin a bit on the side. <laughs> and you, and but you need to explain the gin. We need to know. Oh, oh, this oh, is, is our, this. What's this, is this particular blend? Right, okay. Let's have a little taste first. <laughs> and see what, see what, what you think. Just it's turning to a cookery right. program, isn't it? I'm Sante. getting, I'm getting Post. pissed. <laughs> Cheers, Ross. Ross will be listening down in London. Your, uh, your super. It gets fan. you after, doesn't it? Can you feel yeah. it? It's like sweet, and then it's like a bit of a yeah. Nice warm. And then it comes it's on, nice, isn't it? Comes on cam after that, doesn't oh, it? Yeah. Man. I, I tell you what, we're never, we're, 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 we're never going to turn in the Great British Bake Off after this, are we? You know what I mean? All of us are just sitting down in front of microphones, going, "Oh, ah." Can you imagine <laughs> getting absolutely asshole on that, I have done. and then having to spew it back up again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, no, no, no. You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't would it burn on the way back up? It's almost worth getting a cold for, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So a rhubarb. And that is gin, lovely. Rhubarb and chilli. Where's more? Gin. That chilli. Chilli gin. Do you know, yeah. Chilli after, the, the aftertaste, Oof. isn't it? The afterburn mm. a bit. Yeah. Oh. Afterglow. So they, These afterglow. Oh. I'd, no, a bit I'd on the side. That, that is, I tell you what, that. I would, I, I'm not, mm. we're not that's even a, that's joking. A, that's a week old. So I've bought the gin. Please, I, I, I'm on, please don't be under any illusions or... You can have a do it like I'm distilling your own gin, though. No. I don't. No, I mean, I don't I, know. What's I, now, I, I, I could have an accident quite easily. <laughs> <laughs> this has come from a woman who's had a brain hemorrhage, <laughs> a spinal cord ripped out, and married John Holden. She's got enough mental damage going. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. why she needs a yeah a gin, a fizzy gin. Is, or is. I tell you what, no. that is out. Yeah. That is. I tell you what, that is the shit. But you wouldn't think chili'd work in a drink. No, it does now. Yeah, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, it does. I tell you the what, rhubarb juice came from Osserschleben, and the chili came from the garden. Hand that, hand that other compartment up. Now I tell you what, I'm, <laughs> I am, I am so bad with names. Now this lad, right, he's a marshal at every British around, right? And he came in France, and he handed this over, right? It's got, go on. Would you like to explain what you're unraveling there? It just looks like death in a bottle. It's death in a bottle, right? So, right, there is instructions how to do this. 
500,000 Scoville's Naga Chili Vodka. Oh, oh right. my the hot no, 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 I'm, t- I'm telling you now, right? So it's Have you got an ice cream as well? No, 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 no. That's it. So it's got... Is it tattoo artist or are they the tiny little they shot are, glasses? They are you sh- recommend no, no, that, the size so, you're supposed to no, have? No, no, that is the size you're supposed to have, but I shit you not, right? So he turned it with his bottle, right? He had to import this in. It's got... Now, to our audio listeners, it's got the devil's face. That's what I say. It's just like... that's the size of the shot glass. And he's been he's been obviously messaging Grace, and I'm so sorry, and I swear, down, we're gonna give you a shout out. I'm wow. so Naga sorry. Chilies. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. I right. might just watch. Are we having a day? No, no, no. I tell you, are we having are we going for a shot? I, I don't know. No, we what there's a sam- is it? Is it no, no. there's a sample taste into this, right? And I I'm uh, getting a shot of it is just nuts. Is it? Because I I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't even done a shot of it, right? But do you want to do the taste or the shot? Um I, how bad can it be? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going for it, Joe? People are listening to you, don't know why you're letting yourself in. I, t- I tell you what, right, right. I tell the you what. looks nice. Right, I tell you what. No, no, this is the thing, right? Are we, are we well, going to go first time? It was a gift to you. So no, 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 no. <laughs> I've got to return this. No, I, we've been promising them since brands at the end of the year, and I'm actually getting pretty. What does it say on the back? No, like, no, it's percentage. Um, have you just been building yourself up to it? All I, no, year? I tell you what, I've had, uh, like, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. for someone dumb enough to do it before. Well, no, yeah. that's it. You know, jo- Josh will be getting his hair done and his nails. Christian's an athlete. You know, it's only me and Joe that at the road racing for <laughs> I don't know I'm not road racing anymore am I you, How sorry, does it compare to one... this Irish moonshine no that's that's, that's <laughs> smooth compared to it now basically do you want to go for the, the... he's a sidecar man he'll just yeah. oh, swig it out of the bottle I might and just then wash his eye with it <laughs> just do <laughs> not touch one. your eyes oh, do not rub wrong. your eyes holy shit maybe just a sniff <laughs> what's the tasting version of it I don't, I don't know I don't Did know. I'm, I'm, gen- do I'm actually. Though, I'm not being funny. If you dog up now, please like and subscribe and get yourself on YouTube for this because that is not even. That's tiny. That's that's genuinely what they recommend. That is not even a thimble. I'm, I'm talking. Sure, I'm I tell afraid. you what. I, I love this. Right. We've got. I think we've been audio pouring a drink out for like five minutes now, and the, the nerves are building. There'll be people pulling up in layby's for a different reason right now. They'll be checking online where they can get this one. No, no, I'm telling you now, this this is this is gonna make us day, the I fact that like, we're doing this. I don't this like is, spicy food. I don't no 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 no. I'm I'm actually get, I'm getting the sweat on from oh. the gin here, right? So the no. chili powders and that. Hot oh, food. I, I love hot food, but hot food does not like me. I mean, I'll go into a sweat thinking about it. Smells as a lovely perfume. Okay, okay, I'm so. I'm glad you're watering this down literally. So this is uh Oh my golly. Bad if they're telling you it like must no, no, no. burn a hole in your tongue or something. Ah, that's what I mean. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm a shy bag when it comes to this sort of thing. Right? Sight or sight or <laughs> oh. Teeth fall out, <laughs> melt oh. your gums, immediately shit yourself. <laughs> right. So what's happening now then? Is that yours? No, I know. I better pour a bit more. I'm, I'm shy bagging well, you. See that there. Uh, I'm glad you I've and got me have got full. full I'm, glad, I'm glad I've got the least. <laughs> I've actually I've got the most now. There. No, no, you can't. Right, we can all have a look after. It's a bit of a bit of a clue in which size of the yeah, the bottle, right? No, so, the size of the <coughs> easy clue. Yeah. I tell you, if we don't, have what you gone we, for it? He's, no, no, he hasn't no. gone for it. Right, no, seriously, what right, to, like basically, right for everything. I'm, I'm properly building this up here, but you know, to to the the to the loved ones we've lost, we might be yes. joining them in a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Extra we have ones we've lost. For those that have crossed the finish line way too soon, do not drink hey, a shot well, under any it. circumstances. Pardon. Not, like a full shot glass. So Do what's not. Oh. I might just stick my tongue in. <laughs> well, this is that's a that's thimble. Just that's a warm up for you. Or that's that's you're, a, you're that's like a shot a, glass. This is a teeny tiny thimble. Of yours it. is just a warm up act. Look. <laughs> Well, are we going for it? Are we going for it? <laughs> in one. Hey, you know what? Bollocks to it. Three, Here two, go. one. Here we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> <coughs> hey, that's nice. These it's... have gone off. Oh, I like that. I'm going to water it down with a gin. <laughs> oh, that's well nice. <sighs> Isn't it? Fiona. Oh, no, just, more. <laughs> just chew on a chilli. You can't taste the alcohol. <laughs> <Just chew it. laughs> Have you got the hiccups? Uh, uh. Oh, why did we do that? <laughs> yeah, oh, no. oh yeah. that's nice. I like that. The sweat is running off us. <laughs> <laughs> We've killed John Holden. <laughs> and on that note... <clears throat> I'll tell you what, no, why would... No more. Look no more. <laughs> the sweat is running off me. Well, I think, 
It's like putting a... That's horrendous. Wow, hey. I've stuck my tongue on some things in my life, but... <laughs> Oh, awesome. No, it's not no, awesome. That I'm is, sweating now. I'm yeah. sweating. Well, one's enough. <gasps> no. What do you mean one's enough? The fact these two are... <laughs> not bothering was enough. <sighs> that is lovely. Can we have a drink of yours just to calm it down? <laughs> yeah, get, get, get. No. Oh, my giddy aunt. Right. So <sighs> it's not. Well, it is. I'll but, tell you what, yeah. we are going to sh- We're going to shit through an eye of a needle in the morning. Oh, no, more, no more I'm driving, no. <laughs> um... That some, does have a, I know you. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of cold coffee there. Oh. If you want to have a sip on that, we're going to have to. I tell you what, we're going to have to tidy up this show right oh. now. Right, let's tidy it up. The lips are burning now. So anyway, thank you so much to all our sponsors. This is going to be so quick. Yeah. Thank you so much to OMG, Bennett, JCT, Truck and Trailer Hire. It's Lee Pinder will be absolutely pissing himself because I have not got time <laughs> to read through your sponsorship. But thank you so much. This episode has been brought to you by none other than Captain Insano's personal sponsor, <laughs> Lee Pinder, who actually has a very grown-up job. And I think he owns his business. But he does real network provide... Sorry, real networks provide a complete design and installation service for copper and fibre optical data cabling systems but for anyone else who wants to get involved and please please you know sponsor per episode go for it you are pouring more gin i'm loving this as always josh does our little closing <laughs> message for bennett's because uh, i'm not professional enough to do that so let's uh, let, <laughs> let you roll off the tongue with that one son the uh, yeah so the competitions for uh, the bennett's customers and bike social members are now live so the first two are going to be for rounds one and two of the bsb championship uh, obviously the first round being over in spain um so you can sign up to enter those competitions over at bikesocial.co.uk this is, my heart is on fire your mouth down it's also mine's like uh, i'm all right oh. i don't Seriously, know i might, I might be in a down. coma that i don't know about um but it's worth saying as well that does calm it down all can aside the uh chasing the championship um film that chrissy did uh is on amazon um and it's gonna be uh it's free with a prime account so if anybody who hasn't seen chasing the championship right. which chrissy did in 2022 Sorry, in 2020. Yeah. That's that fucking chilly stuff. <coughs> yeah, is, maybe we should have done on, the reading uh, before. I'm, I'm getting... I'm, it's on Amazon it's, Prime. Are you guys on watch. I am now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but please, please go look at uh, Dave's film. Chrissy did it. A fantastic... Yeah. Uh, like, that was a, it's a fa- Oh, shit. Now I'm, I'm losing the plot here. I'm losing things here. But no, Chasing the you Championship have, oh. is... It's a pr- like a true representation of what he went through that year and everything that he's built up to that point and... God, we miss him. But I tell you what, Absolutely. one thing, mind the shite bag definitely he, he was teetotal and he wouldn't have done that. And no, even no. that. That was the only reason I did it <sighs> because we did a cheers. We Damn did a right. To him. Yeah. So that was the reason for doing I love that. it, mate. Absolutely love it. And I tell you, on that note. Thank Yet again, you. thank you so much no, for letting us poison no. you on air. You know, it's <laughs> thank you for I think it's the first. Thank you for having us here. It's definitely a first. It's been great fun. Thank you. But seriously, thank you so much for coming up and uh, hey can't wait to see you in the TT yeah. paddock I can't wait and good luck for this season and I just hey, okay. good luck, good luck it's been mint as well yeah. you've got an epic ride coming up with the Burrows team I, haven't I've you? got an epic day with a toilet at the minute yeah. <laughs> so we've brought Jane to the table what else do you like what do you want your next uh, guest uh, um, to I want water? milk water milk, milk yeah, yeah. <laughs> an ice cream <laughs> oh, nice mint. piece of toast or absolutely something. love it <laughs> absolutely well, fantastic well I did say ice cream <laughs> Mint. Right, we're closing it. Right. Thank Good you. night, Go everyone. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You. See you in a minute. Bye.